context. Do you want to think of them in pixels? 1920 yeah, to 1080 is like 2 million pixels. What's 720, what's the other thing? What's the other number on it? 1280? 720, 1280? Huh? That's like 1 million pixels sounds like, right? Yeah. So 1 million pixels up to 2 million pixels and then double the so FPS. So it's four, four times the data. Yeah. Okay. Probably about. I don't know if it, it's a direct correlation between you take the resolution and the frame rate and it's like that much more data exactly. All I know is it's better. Now. Stream live now? I mean, you pressed on, right? I know, but you know how it goes a little bit of a delay. Yeah, it's time. usually, I don't know, short amount of time. Did it look better, guys? Way better, poggers? Okay, good. We could have had this on yesterday. That means the whole YouTube video of yesterday was in. It, your camera, I assume, is 60 FPS or better. It's 60 FPS, 1080, or you can do 4K 30. Um, wow, I'm actually disappointed. Do people stream in 4K ever? You can't on Twitch. And if they let people start streaming in 4K, they, it, their data cost goes up four times. Yeah. And their, their data cost is already so high that they lose money on a streamer like me streaming because I don't have any subs. So me streaming costs them money. Right. That's funny. Yo, Twitch. Thanks for paying for this broadcast. A lot of other platforms would pay for it too, though. Just to have the content. You know? I see. Alright, did you want what else did you want to test? Get it over with? I'm chilling. And we can play. I was just thinking about how Smash? Yeah, yeah. I was waiting. I was waiting to see how long till you said alright. Because I know you're in the rush to play the video I game. I want to play the game. Exactly. You have video <laughs> game addiction. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So doc, he's going to talk to Dr. K tomorrow about his video game addiction. Just a little bit. Tomorrow? Oh, you changed it? Tom Wait. Oh, it's Tuesday? I thought it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel addicted. Damn. Yeah, you can't wait to get back in it. And I was actually waiting just to troll you. No, yeah. Not to troll you, but... To help you realize. Yeah. What you should, should have said. Yeah, it wasn't to troll you. Yeah. I want to realize also. I'm curious. Well, I can message him and say, uh, yeah, uh, okay, uh, let me respond to my messages. What are all these people spamming in our chat? Who's spamming? They're spamming nonsense, literally. Okay. You not, you see it? Oh, no. Yeah, it, there could be there. different people in the stream now because when you turn our stream off and back on, it notifies some people. It, it, now everyone got notified that I'm streaming, right? Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. people who were watching were just hanging out with Super Smash Bros. I'm so confused. Everyone's spamming nonsense now. Well, it could be a host or something, right? Uh, yeah, but I don't have the notification. True. Oh, it's because I'm typing. Oh, when someone's typing fast, they spam random. Oh. Stuff. Okay, yeah, I, I type it. fast as fuck, homies. It's so nice typing fast. I get, I, I go through and respond to like 10 different people. And then, I mean, they also just might not care to respond back to me, but doesn't that look nice? What, the it's a setup, setup, dude. Yeah, it's a nice setup. Wait, come look at the setup now. Mary, look at it. Just the TV. <laughs> you, you can peek pretty far in without being on there. Looks insane, dude. Looks so good. Living room stream. Paper thin TV. Yeah, it is. It's such a cute space. I love that we set this up, and then we have this wireless keyboard and mouse in one. This is a good product, and it's really <laughs> light. Did you guys like put this decorative stuff here? Uh, yeah, our, he, our he designed the entire did interior. So he's yeah, smart. I'm an interior decorator. Uh, I'm really good. <laughs> oh, this looks really good, though. Thanks. All right. I, I want to eat at some point. How long else you in the stream? I mean, we just started. Oh. Well, we may be a ladies' man tonight. In five minutes. Yeah, you'll be a ladies' man for a while. Don't we hang out with you after the food? You're going to be hungry. We can eat together later. We'll have sushi. Okay. All right. All right. Straight simping. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go enjoy simping. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye, Mary. Nice to meet you again. Bye.
Like, I keep half meeting you. We haven't, like, really talked, you know? <laughs> All right. All right. Sure. So for Taub, actually, it's a combination of the video game addiction and is it a little bit of social anxiety, Taub, where you want to get back into the game to not be socializing, like escapism? It's, it's the video game addiction makes other things less fun. Oh, everything else is kind of mad compared to playing the game. So it gives you a ton of dopamine and it makes it, um, what's the oh, word? wait, wait. Come talk here. So yeah, what's the word Dr. K used? Um, gives you too much of it, so you become to too tolerant to it. So then, when, if you do something else that gives you less of it, you're like, oh, this isn't even fun or whatever, because you, you've got. See, too much I can't of it relate already. to that. I don't even get dopamine from playing video games. Yeah, we have different issues. <laughs> I mean, I get a little bit, but not like you. So you just really get crazy rewards popping off in your head every time you're playing. Well, I'm a game. still, I'm still more tolerant to it, like. Supposedly, if in theory, when I was younger, I was having a lot of fun, and so so would anyone basically. But then, if you play too much, I had I had a ton of fun when I was ten. It was insane, yeah. and everything else in the world seemed completely boring. And playing playing games, mm -hmm. and that went away slowly. Actually, Twitch killed my love of video games. I wouldn't say that for me. When I started streaming, it always made the game. I could never get immersed in the game. It was. It wasn't the same. It was like when I was, we used to play arena on stream, even though we did well. I mean, we we had like an eighty. We had like an, on the warrior. We had like an eighty-one and three run, or seventy-eight and three, or something. The first. Hmm. I remember Shadow First Warrior one. Yeah, yeah, we did really well, but I never got immersed like I did before I started streaming. When I was streaming. I wonder if it, it's part of part of the streaming though. You know? When I yeah no because if you're streaming you have to talk to your chat sometimes which I like talking to chat but I couldn't I never got the game real I quick. never went in the game when I was used to play I forget that I exist you know I'm just like I'm the fucking rogue you yeah. know I actually don't remember that I'm a human I'm just like okay I'm a rogue like yeah. that's how, that's how you get good I guess I don't know well, you gotta go full that's autism that's dude definitely how you get immersed right that's how you get immersed maybe you don't have to be to good yeah yeah I'm gonna fill this. Okay. Keep talking about your video game addiction. I'm curious. I'm listening. Um, I mean, honestly, I've just been learning it from watching Dr. K stuff because I was interested since I was planning on talking to him soon. But I still feel like I get a lot out of video games because the challenges they pose, especially from uh, fighting games, I, I learn a lot about... What do I learn a lot about? I don't know, how to overcome different types of problems, how to understand other people. I feel like from competitive games, that's what I learned the most. It's like, it's, it happens to be what I'm good at too. I'm like, oh, he's gonna jump here, do that. Like, that's a lot of fun to me. It's always been fun to me. Can't exactly explain why, perhaps, but that's one of the only reasons I'm sticking predicting to what people are pre Predicting what people are gonna do and punishing them, you get a reward system out of that. And I noticed it in WoW, when you would predict what someone's gonna do, and then you'd punish them, and then the game was imbalanced, so you would lose. I would be very upset. You would yell. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that too. Like Saran against Saranus. Or against anyone who hugged the pillar a lot. Just if I felt like I understood exactly what they wanted to do, and I like theory crafted some counter for it, and it didn't work, and they still got away with that thing I knew was happening, I didn't like that, you know? Yeah. Which is why I've come to fighting games though, because they design it so that if you know what they're doing, you win, as long as you have the proper counter. That's more, it's really obvious, oh yeah, yeah this video game edition is intense, so you wanted to get back into the game right away, but most, it's more human. To do this. To do this. Yeah. More you want to do the less human thing. Human isn't maybe the best Cause, word. It's because like, I, I don't know, maybe some craving for dopamine or something, I don't know how it works. That's why I'm talking to him though, you know. <laughs> so you're, you need to get this reward. From killing yeah. someone. It's also like it constantly comes up in my head or whatever. I'm like, oh, this combo or whatever. You know, you put it off till later. Um, depends on if I'm interested in something else. But no, you really do need to talk to him. Now I realize it's more intense than I thought. Because hmm. it's hard for you to. It is hard for you to focus on other things. K 
can be. If I'm focused on like every, working on Everland stuff, but you would love that. The whole time. Yeah, it's, that's a little it's different. Fun. Yeah, but what if it was? You had, what if, if I, you had to do a if task? I need to learn something like school. What if you had to thing? like build a fucking uh, desk? Desk for someone else, like for a friend. If I'm working with them on it, I'm focused all the time. If I'm like just doing it by myself, I'm like, uh, I gotta read the directions. I get bored. Maybe I'll think about something. That's else. normal. That yeah. But maybe that example's bad. You can do it with the friend then, yeah. But would you be so strongly in your head the whole time, preferring that you could be playing a game with that friend? Yeah, I would. I would. I would You'd be like waiting that, for there. the reward. I'm waiting, but I'm not like you're waiting distracted. for the reward. You're not living in the moment. Yeah. I could. I could build a desk with someone, even though I'm really autistic at building a desk. I'm terrible. But I can live in the moment the whole time. Not. I don't think about doing something later. Mm. I don't think it's healthy to ever think about. No, doing. I agree with that. I like to never think about doing something later. That's a sponta- That's spontaneity, though, that you're talking about, right? Is it? No, spontaneity is just wanting to do stuff out of nowhere. This is mindfulness, right? Just living in the moment. Yeah, we've been trying to learn that with like meditation and stuff recently. Yeah. Yeah, but I've been trying to do it for like three years because I started in Japan. Right. I'm I'm a new, uh, newcomer. Yeah, I'm still pretty noob. I still feel like a noob. Mm-hmm. Things take a while. I'm some, really happy at this moment. I, calm. I don't said, know if you're happy. I keep using the word happy, but I feel like a whole. At, I feel whole. At peace is usually the term. I feel at peace, yeah. yeah. I felt really shitty earlier before showering and all that, but no. I just realized I could do podcasts in this room just like this. Mm-hmm. This See, is a podcast. Setup. What we're doing now, this couch is designed for. We're relaxing. But when we we're trying to play, it was like. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like the gaming chairs or whatever, you know? Now, if we were doing a podcast, we would zoom in a little. Or we would keep it like this. Uh, if, I think if we had more people, we'd we'd keep it like this. But otherwise, no. Otherwise, we zoom in. What's yeah, chat I think part of it is they want to see facial expressions or movement, and it's probably a little bit hard to see. Sure. So do you guys want us to zoom in right now? I'm just. That's just my. That's oh, what, what I saying? would want. I saw slime open there. Yes, 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 yes. Zoom in a little. Yeah, zoom. Okay. Okay. I get triggered by little things. Like I just saw the sticker on my MacBook in the camera, but the sticker has too big of a white outline, which bothers me. We're fixing it. I hate it. <gasps> I don't think it's going to impact uh, much. I'm upset. Maybe one person's not going to play the game now because they're like, that sticker. Let's delete the game. <laughs> the sticker. <laughs> it looks cool. I yeah. Think cool. We've been... We're, we're nitpicky because we've been trying to improve our logo for a long time, one, one pixel at a time, basically. Sometimes actually, we just someone, we just did it two days ago. We you improved we it a little more. One. Yeah, but yeah, each time we improve it, and we if I showed it to you like before or after, you have to look for a while to figure out what changed a lot of. I'll show stuff. them. I'll show them on before and after here, Colin. Of of the what I sent you. No, I'll show them this little sticker versus the old sticker. Oh, okay. That's that one's a fairly big difference, yeah. When is the game coming out? Later this year? Not going to give too much more than that because totally could change. No set date. But shooting for this year. Even if we're like... Don't say, don't say when. Huh? I didn't. Okay. Are they asking when you're releasing the game? Yeah. I just told them later this year. Okay. Just trying to get that info out of him while I'm AFK, huh? Fuck it. I know all the... the Okay, so I'm worried about you. This is our old logo. Uh, I'll put it in front of your face so it won't start bumping your face. There you go. Okay, this is our old logo. Oh, why did it do that? I think because you're moving your hand, it's focusing on your finger. Okay, take it in. Here's our new one. It's a smaller sticker, but you guys will have to just. They're not going to be able to tell the difference. I'm just, just look at them. Can you not tell the difference? If I, all you, you side side? They won't be able to tell, probably. Unless they really looked at, like, oh, the, blah, 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 you know, XYZ. Someone said same thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here. The clouds, someone said, exactly. It's the biggest difference, I would say. Now the other big difference is the black outline around everything, which I'm actually. You actually want to get rid of the black outline on this one. Yeah. 
because that's nice on this one. I wanted, I was really worried when we were changing the logo. I liked that this was so pixely that you could tell what it is. It's a pixel art game. Because then we tried to make this logo more like this. At one point, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a health food store. But then we made it a little more pixely, which I don't know what the. When I, when I say pixely to the artists, they're like, what do you mean pixely, dude? Like blocky or something, you know? Yeah. They, they don't, blocky they, is the answer. Blocky, yeah. Is it fun to look at these things for other people? I think they're enjoying it. They're commenting a lot. I I just like, you know, I love cameras. So just seeing the shallow depth of field is fun for me. Um, I wonder how much better this looks on my other camera. This camera's pretty good. I like how it adjusts all the time. It's very cool. Yeah. During The, the big thing about the ca this camera being good at video is that during the adjustment, it doesn't... Uh, jar, what's the word? Doesn't like uh, make a jarring experience. For make the a jarring experience for you, yeah. Now this so other it, one. So it detects just movement. That's how it moves, or fo refocuses. Detects just movement. It detects. I I I don't. It's too complicated. I don't fucking know how it works. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I definitely there's settings where you could turn it turn it to look at eyes or not look at eyes. I know that much. Someone said it detects depth. I wonder if that's true. Now, um. I want to try it with this. I want to try with you guys to see this one, just for fun. Maybe you guys don't care as much as me. Uh, I haven't seen this one in video yet. I don't even know if it's good at video. Let's use it for pictures. Um. One person said I care. Okay. Two people. Uh, we need it. I need. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to use this tripod, so. <laughs> someone. Um, someone. Oh, G Mix said you bought a new camera, Byron. Yeah. I want to see what it looks like on video. It, I, I bought it to take pictures with, not to take video. But let's see. I'm going to unplug this. Hear me. Oh, they can hear us still while we're gone. Yep. Okay. It's not like an IRL stream. Now, how do I pop this off the tripod is the thing. I've never used this tripod. What did I do for Blizzard? I worked in quality assurance. Uh, basically, game tested for WoW and gave feedback uh, on the game. Mostly raid content, but later we started getting into some PvP stuff as well. Which is what he really wanted to do at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yep. But they don't. They just don't view PvP as important enough. I'd say. I'd say that's my outside perspective. Yeah. I mean, they, how many? I, can, people, I can't really comment too much team? on like. Yeah, but that you, kind of stuff. Is it public how big the team is for PvP versus PvP? I don't think so. Not not worth risking any, saying any of that. Anyway, you you are under a contract with them, but I'm not. My my take on it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Go ahead. My take on it is that the team's ten times bigger for PVD stuff at least. You know. And uh, one time I was hanging out with one of the lead devs of WoW, and he told me only seven percent of people have ever tried an arena at that point. That makes sense. Yeah. Although that is arenas, you would expect like battlegrounds to be more popular. I'm use this tripod. It's just frustrating. World PVP. Did you set this tripod up? Zach did, probably did. Okay. How do I just pop it off? Yeah, I really don't know. Yeah, he's messing with the camera right now to try the other camera he just bought. I, I can try the other camera, but it won't be on the tripod. I can just try it freehand. It won't be the exact, you can maybe tell if it's better, but. I mean, will I be your model then? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I'm gonna cop first down. Okay. This is a charger cable, isn't it? Oh no, this is a. Hmm. This doesn't. This, it, this my new camera uses a different cable. You can't hear me now. Doesn't even go in. I think he uses USB C. Oh, they're like. Are there three different types of HDMI? There's HDMI, there's like micro HDMI, mini HDMI or something. I don't know. This is the wrong, I think this is the smallest HDMI and I need the medium sized one. Let's just go back to the setting. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. Funny. I'm trying to come back right now. We're back. 
There I am. Okay, so I tilted it a little, maybe. I was trying to show you guys this one. And the lens is kind of nice. There's nothing like WoW Arena anywhere. What do you think about that comment? I disagree. I think it just, we've tried so few games, actually. The thing is, we've tried so few games. The thing is, and then you, you try the games that all your friends are playing, because other, other games are not as fun if your friends aren't playing. And of the few games you've tried with your friends playing, WoW Arena was pretty good. There are some random indie games that I tried. I'm like, damn, this game would be sick if all my friends played, but I'm never gonna get everyone to play unless I really push it. If all our friends, uh, like, friends like played Smash, that'd be Not a gas girlfriend would fucking get us all to play, right? Yeah, yeah. I played quite a few games where I'd say there was some kind of arena that reminded me of WoWs that I really liked, even more than WoWs actually. Like for example, Dragon Nest. Dragon Nest you liked more than WoW. Yep, uh, I liked Blade and Soul a lot. Not more than Wild Blade and Soul, but I remember you liking Dragon Nest more than Wild. I love Dragon Nest. Yeah. I, I watched him play this like one v one fights in this this fucking Asian MMO that none of you would ever play just for stylistic reasons. Yeah. You just don't like how it looks. But you love that game. Yeah. And I could see why it was cool. Like you could play off of what people were doing. Real. Like, you could. You, what Tom likes is seeing like, predicting what people are gonna do and reacting to it. Right. I don't know how yeah. to word that word that better, but. And when a game has a lot of situations where you can do that, you love that. Yeah. And then WoW and certain patches had nothing. Sometimes there was almost no skill at all, which would yeah. still be the best. I also like some kind <laughs> of like freestyle aspect to PvP. Like when you when you feel like you can have your own style, and even though someone's playing the exact same thing you are, you can do what you want to do and like have a you, you're aggressive or he's defensive or he's like true. He loves to style on people, whatever whatever but, but it is. Especially Resto Druids had that. Wrestle Druids could love to style on someone. There could be really defensive Wrestle Druids who just hug the pillar, right. cycle on the people who are attacked, like really far in. Then there'd be a Wrestle Druids who are in all game, just cloning everyone. We'd love those Wrestle yeah. Druids. We, we love playing really aggro. Like yeah. We, we want to just kill people instantly. And I don't know why we like that so much. There's something about it, like they don't expect you to actually just try to kill them in the first five seconds because games usually have a certain flow, like you wait for the PvP training and then you try to kill them. We'll be like, no, let's just throw them off. Let's just kill them right now in the first five seconds, right? If and then the next game, we'll try yeah. to do it differently. We'll just keep playing the Yomi layers a little. I, I notice I raise my voice sometimes, which is bad. I raise my voice when I notice someone starting to talk, but I want to finish my thought. Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't always do that. You I should not do it. Much. I do it a lot. I really want to finish a certain thought, and then you talk. because you have trouble with the multitasking thing. You're like... You can't start listening to them, so you're like, I have to. If finish. I start listening, I won't be able to finish my thought. Yeah, later. I yeah. Know. But you're, you're not I'm like that. Uh, you're the worst at it that I know of. Of like, anyone. Yeah. It makes me come there, off as really rude. There are people who can, like, pause after you. They, they're they're saying something. The other person starts speaking. They pause, listen, can then continue with three more bullet points. I would have to just repeat it in my head over and over the whole time the person's talking and yeah. then I wouldn't be able to. I don't know how they do that. That's a really good skill. But some of the designers I used to talk to at Blizzard would be able to do that and I thought it was very valuable. It's interesting. It's because the way I talk free flow, I don't think before I talk. Right. And then if I'm saving a thought for later, I have to think to save the thought. I think most people have to think to save it. And then I've never, I've never practiced I'm gonna say this later because I've never had a, a formal job where I have to do a presentation like I never practice saying something later I that, just yeah, always yeah and it, streaming has helped it, streaming has reinforced it the spontaneity yeah I'll just say things as they come off the top of my head even when I did a podcast with most people who were doing a podcast with someone important would probably plan some things when I did a podcast with the guy who made League of Legends I still just talk off the top of my head and it works so yeah I know if it works at, at that level, then I guess I can keep doing it. And you're, you're better at being spontaneous than most people because you practice being spontaneous, right? Just like I am very good at being calculating ahead of time. Yeah, if I actually try to calculate ahead of time, I think I wouldn't be able to... If I wrote down a sentence to try to read it, I don't know if I could do it. You can, but you're just bad at it and you just need to work on it if you wanted to. Same thing with the opposite for me. I'm not very good at being spontaneous, right? Yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. Tab and I are gonna do other. I was just thinking while you were talking that we balance each other out pretty well, and yeah. then how we are gonna do other projects after Everland together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that'll be cool. I don't know what it'll be. Long term plans. But yeah, 
That, that, we have, we, I, got a, I got a partner for life. Tab, Tab is my boy for life. <laughs> for sure. And this guy's mine too. So. Yeah. Now, a lot of people thought that when I tweeted on Valentine's Day, like a picture of him, that we are homosexual. Unfortunately, we're not. It would make life a lot easier. We would not. It would, life would be <laughs> really, so easy. Really easy. We, we are the same person that we're fucking the same person that we're just working with all the time. Maybe actually we cause complications. Bad. Maybe it's bad. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's, the separation's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny. I'm trying to fucking touch ID my fucking computer, dude, but it doesn't work because my finger's wet. Do they allow you to add extra fingers? Not sure about that. Because on my phone, I have like my thumb, my thumb in a different direction. Like, I like, see. Like, fuck it. Yeah. You guys share a lot of things like how you talk and move. Yeah, I think that's just like a. Once you've been around the same people enough, you start stealing each other's mannerisms naturally to like fit in subconsciously. So it just happens. Yeah, so we played games together for 10 years now. It's a long time. And now I don't really like games anymore. He loves it still. But I, I like hanging out with him. So I want to learn Super Smash just to hang out, which is what I did with my ex-girlfriend, Becca. I didn't even like games anymore, but I wanted to play TFT and auto chess just to ha have a shared. I only played that game because of me. Yeah. Remember? You were playing oh, so it was like was a chain like, reaction. And I was like, oh, I'll play. With I was you. playing because of her and you were playing because of me. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Other like I got to play with you in a little party or whatever. Otherwise, I was like, I'm not having fun. I actually like Super Smash. Fundamentally, I think it's the coolest game I've ever played. Right. I'm happy with it. It's the coolest game I've ever played. I'm not addicted to it, though. There's two different things. Like, yeah, I look at it. casually. I look at it, I'm like, I know this is the coolest game I've ever played. I don't feel like I'm casual, though. I feel like casuals don't care to improve. Every time I play, I'm trying to improve. Yeah, but uh, you're not a casual, but you play casually. Okay. You know what I really like is I played a series of 20. You, so you know how good Miskif is now because you played yeah. him. I played a series of 20 games against him, and I was betting, getting better every time. And uh, eventually, I beat him on the 20th game, and he, he left. Mm -hmm. He stormed out. But it was, uh, it was cool. Like I actually improve when I play. I love it. It's something I'm trying to teach. If you guys want Must to make an arena-style game, please. Now... We can make a mini game inside Everland that is a specific type. I mean, it would have to be like, I, my thought is that it would be just an RMP mirror, right? Like you just zone in, you don't have to, you don't have to get gear, you don't have to level, you don't have to do anything. You just zone in, you play an RMP mirror, right? We could do it. it Talb is super passionate we, about that. We definitely that. can. We definitely can do that. I'll have to think about how I want to put it together or like what, it doesn't have to be three v three. And I don't know if people either. like RMP mirrors as much as I do. Like even Tal didn't like RMP mirrors that much. Yeah, we we can we can take things from what that matchup re represented, right? Because a lot of people thought the matchup was a lot, very skill based. We could pull that apart and figure out what made it tick and try to recreate something like that. Just everyone working together really well. So like the the whole matchup. It's all about. I, team, I remember teamwork is required to win. Is one aspect is what you're saying. Yeah, you have to coordinate the timing of your burst. I, I remember. Okay, I RMP mean, mirror. Right. Iron Premier, what, how would it start? I'm trying to think from every perspective because I, I know my perspective. The mage would instantly try to deep freeze sheep the enemy priest, and then the enemy mage would try to counterspell the deep freeze sheep, right? But then they would try to line each other. Then I, as the rogue, would try to stop the enemy mage from stopping the deep freeze sheep. It's like a chain reaction. Okay. Um. So I would go gouge the mage on the other team so my mage can deep freeze sheep without getting counterspelled. And then it, when you do, it just, and it keeps going. And then the other rogue would try to stop me from gouging the mage to stop the deep freeze sheep. And then uh, something about this happening over and over is fun. Okay, so teamwork, timing, and enough tools to... Oh, you like, you like the alliteration. Are you trying really hard to make it no, the same no, no. way? Just randomly is TTT? Yes, yes. You swear. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I actually I forgot about the first T. I was like, the second two are alliteration. That's kind of cool. But then the third one, apparently. Mm. Um, and then, yes, someone mentioned it in chat. That was the next thing I was going to say is some kind of, some form of like being able to not directly counter necessarily, but having some kind of counterplay to 
other people's abilities. Somebody in chat said glorified rock, paper, scissors. Now, I was trying to think if that is... That is actually generally accurate because even Smash and almost every other fighting game it's has a, rock, paper, scissors. Right, but the Smash, yes. Like, you think about their... They can either roll... They have a certain amount of options, and then you try to do one of the options that counters their option, right? And maybe you try to cover two options at once, so you try to do rock and scissors. Right, but even Smash is pretty freeform. Like, I, I, I feel like you're going to say, wow, is... It is Smash is pretty freeform, but I'm trying to say, is it rock, paper, scissors in the end? When, when I'm trying... Is it, there, can there we, be, can we bring it back to rock, paper, scissors? So when I'm going to gouge the mage to stop him from counterspelling my mage when he's deep freeze shipping their priest... If he has an option that can beat that... Then it, it likely is rock paper scissors immediately. But he can make a decision to trinket the gouge to counter spell. Yeah. So it's not just it's like continuous RPS. So we'd have to think about it more. I suppose. It's so much more deep that it's an even. Is there even a point to abstract it back right, to rock paper scissors? To me, it's the same thing in Smash though. Every, every like half a second, there's it's a less RPS. Deep. There's less depth to it because I can't trinket. I think trinket adds a lot of depth because you can't. I can't be like, you know what, instead of doing any of my options, I'll just use my one time. That's why you like Dragon Nest, that a trinket. I can't do my one time, my decision of I get out of this no matter what. Right. Well, that, that added a nice element of like, I want to escape. When do I use this? The timing is involved, right? It's kind of like Flash in League of Legends. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like those one thing, one time thing. I feel like there's, there's a little more to it that we need to Or it's do. QSS actually in League of Legends, but no one buys that that often, right? Flash is similar. Yeah, okay. Flash is similar too. It, people would say what you're QSS for. is trinket, but Flash is like the thing that people are using. They, have, they also have I trinket you as an item, which is kind of cool. I trinket you dispel. Yeah, yeah. To, well, it was like remove everything basically, you know. Yeah, get you out of stun. Yeah, but that's what this spell is. We just dispel doesn't say stun on it. Yeah, right? yeah. If, you, if you think about it. You love this podcast. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is. We didn't even plan to do a podcast. It just happened. Uh, is the camera dark? I keep wanting to fix everything. Usually you have a guy just running this stuff, but I just like cameras. But the camera keeps auto-adjusting in a way that I don't personally like. I walked up to there and it started auto-adjusting. It got brighter, right? I don't like it that it does that. What was it auto-adjusting to before? I don't know. It annoys me a little bit. Yeah, anyway, what I'm getting at is... Oh, maybe the TV got dark from us not touching it for a while. The computer. I don't know. Go, go on. Okay. I, I, I just want to break it down into what are the components that make it awesome. And then bring those, try to bring those into our supposed Everland mini game concept, right? What are the components that made that make RMP Mirror awesome? Yeah. Is that is RMP Mirror my favorite matchup ever? And wow. I think it was better when it was something more dynamic. You know? I remember some matchups that we enjoyed, but we just, it's because we won a lot. Like, I remember RLS versus RMP. I would love, I would be the only RMP that would beat the RLSs every time. But all I did was train, like, Sidu or whatever. Right. And I would kill Sidu really well. And it then was, it was he would go to tournaments. Uh -huh. where, there was, where there was truly dynamic, but I do think Melee Caster Healer were the ones where it could shine the best. I'm sure there was, like, some matchup like WLD versus something that was, like, cool, you know. Oh, swapping is, is an important part, right? Like, feeling like... Having to swap swapping, targets swapping is really important, is good, yeah. Is, is valuable. Swapping has to be... A, yeah. If you if you stay on the same target the whole time, there's way less to think about. Even if you can do... There's still the mechanics, but... And there's still the timing of burst. And Just stuff the like decision that. of staying on my target or swapping is, is a huge, difficult decision. Yeah, and then when you add that it's viable to swap to all three, it gets exponentially harder, right? Yeah. If you have two targets only... So if I, I if I, I let's think about it. So I'm on the healer, and I have the decision I can also kill the rogue. It's possible. Yeah. So I go from the healer to the while I'm on the healer, I have one one decision to go to the rogue, and then while I'm on the healer, if we, if we get to go to both people, I can go to the rogue or, or the priest. I mean, the rogue or the mage. Sorry, yeah. the rogue or the mage. But then once I go to the mage, then I have the decision. Well, it's just two instead of one, right? It's not actually. It's just adding one every time. Yeah. Does it only add one? What if we were four, five targets? Five. I have the decision to attack any of the other four people, but then being able to go back. No, it actually gets more complicated because then someone could get low. You have to think about. We're thinking about it like binary, but like, let's say someone's at seventy percent. Well, each time there's only a set of five decisions, but there's more possibilities. I think is what you're getting at. I'm trying to think it through. There's more so there's five players. Yeah. 
It's 5v5, I'm on the healer, and if everyone is a viable target, if the mage, it, it, everyone isn't a viable target, so usually the mage is at 50% health, you don't swap to him because he has ice block, right? Yeah. But if he is a viable target and he's an option to go on, how many more decisions does it make for me? It just adds the one. Huh? It adds one, but the exponential part is that there are just way more possibilities of situations to be in, which I think is the part you're kind of your brain. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm thinking there's something exponential there, but I can't find it. Like you could be in a situation where like I'm on a mage, but there are four other targets, and there's just more possibilities happening all over the place. Like, what if you're on the Ellie and, and now the mage is a possibility? Like you're just expanding options as you swap targets. Okay, you know what I mean. But there are only five each specific time. Okay. Anyway, swapping was the main thing there. If you have to train one target, there's a lot less decisions. So decisions, right? That's that's like decisions. The, that's the end. The takeaway result there. Um, decisions. I like that. There's there's a certain level of you want to train mechanics, right? Mechanical people skill. Enjoy, another one. People enjoy training the mechanical skill. So right, I, I'm playing Super Smash, and I still don't can't short hop every time. And I still can't do the, I can't, and I, I have I feel a reward if I land the, like short hop reverse, back air, back air right? Yeah. Uh, and I actually hit it. There's just an extra reward feeling of oh I just mechanically did it, not just that I thought it. Right. Right. Okay. So mechanical skill. Oh, you're taking notes. I like that. You can always watch the vod later too. Oh yeah, maybe take notes is better. Yeah. Okay, so mechanical skill is one. Um, decisions is another. Swapping is decisions, I guess. Um, what were the three T's? Timing. 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 Fuck, what did you say? Just timing something something. How did we forget two of them? Human memory. The first bad. one you brought up was was another T. Chat will remember. Hoping chat. Tools. Tools. Teamwork? And teamwork. Yeah, those are okay. Thanks, chat. Mechanical skill, decisions, timing, tools, and teamwork. Those are our, our current essential factors to what made Arena's fun and that we could incorporate for our supposed Everland minigame. Supposed? We're going to do but it. For now, it's supposed until I make sure it's really good, and then I can say, yes, it's going to happen. We think differently, yeah. Yeah. In my head, we're doing the minigame for sure. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, no, it, it, it I, in my head, really we're good. doing it for sure. It's just not there for the launch of the game necessarily because maybe it's too much depth. Sure. Now, obviously, I can I can abort that. Yeah. Oh, you're you're thinking you want wanna, you want it for the launch of the game? No, no. I'm thinking just like it would require a lot of iterations for me to be comfortable with it because it's very deep already. Yeah. I mean, it could be a full designer job just to update this high skill based three v three mini game. Yeah. What, okay. What else is there? We have a, a lot of the big ones. I feel like because. These are all also the same things for like a League of Legends game, by the way. Just looking at them. I'm actually, now, suddenly, I'm in the mood. See, now I got in the mood to stop working and just play Smash, which I judged you for before. Work, working is like, you know, designing. I'm working. But do I power through it and keep designing now? Like, what is the correct choice? For me? I, I hate that I don't ever know what the right thing to do. When you're like a freelancer or whatever, you had a normal job, you just have your hours and then you go home. Yeah, our, but, ours is actually more difficult, yeah. Yeah, it, because we have the decision. Because if it, We have the decision to swap at any time, just like yeah. go, it goes back to like, wow, Arena. Mm -hmm. We can swap at any time to do play, and then we can go back to this. Yeah, it's if it's getting in the way of what your goals are in life, then you shouldn't do it is basically what Dr. K believes. Wonder if I should play Smash right now. I'll keep talking. What do I you mean, think? It's gonna be it's gonna be fun, I think. You want to play Smash also? I'm okay with playing. I'm actually. We talk design. I'll do, I'll do either. Tal and I talk design all the time. But Smash, we can only play when he's here. So I think we play Smash. I don't want to play online Smash with you. Is that laggy? I'm justifying it, but let's fucking do it, dude. Okay. All right. Someone said talk while Smash, but you can't really have a critical thinking no, talk yeah. while playing Smash. I can barely talk while playing at all, you know? Okay, so I'll switch it to Super Smash Ultimate. 
think if you want to play Smash, just play Smash as part of being a freelancer. I feel like that's a fallacy you could fall into. Yeah, because you could end up playing too often and not working enough. Yeah, then you could just be like, oh, I can work whenever I need to. And then you just don't. Right. All right, let's play Smash, though. It actually takes a lot of discipline, I feel, to work at home or freelance. No, I'm and also yeah, thinking. Easier, but. I'm, I'm still thinking there's some downsides. Even though it's fun for me to stream talking about game design, there are some downsides to it. We're just we we can't commit to show like sharing too much information. We have to constantly thinking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, then people might get expectations up, and disappointments happen. There's a lot of things that I, I I'd have to critically think. We're also like, not too experienced with um, talking about in-depth parts of the game on stream. Yeah, or, and being careful intentionally, you know. So we're used to just talking about whatever in our meetings so okay so let's go Ooh, i changed the wrong one okay sorry this one goes back to full screen i think we still we did we did well there but you guys enjoy that talk uh, give us some feedback effort. on that talk we're turning nintendo on i gotta pee too i'll, I'll pee and you listen to the feedback yep respond to the feedback for a minute talking about game design is fun yeah it is fun talking with you guys about it see what you guys think especially because then we're just gathering feedback from you guys right pretty cool write them down if I see something that sticks out I will totally feedback invite me over racer we'll see I don't, I don't know what we're doing after smash I'm sure he has he doesn't have a plan actually, because he's spontaneous. So I don't know. Make it an esport. Hmm. It's a good way to cater th to the community. It's something I care about a lot actually. Um, I played RuneScape when I was a kid. Back in even when it was classic RuneScape, and then I played again later when they revamped it, and then I played again somewhat recently, like a couple of years ago, the 2007 version. And something I love about what they did is they they run community polls, and they just ask, "Do you guys want this feature?" And I'm very interested in doing that myself for for Everland because I think it's awesome to do that. Right, you're getting immediate feedback from your players, and then you don't have to commit to something before the players are sure or not. They know what they're talking about when they're, or the players know what they're talking about when they're, they see a new feature. They can pretty much predict, you know, what's going to happen as a result. Not always, but um, they're pretty knowledgeable. One thing I think players generally aren't super knowledgeable about is giving a suggestion to a problem. They can identify problems, or at least identify when something feels wrong. I think we're all like, I'm, I've, I'm a player and a designer at this point, but. Um, if you sift through feedback, sometimes people will give a lot of suggestions, but often it's better to just think of your own answer because you know your own team, you know your what your capabilities are, what your limitations are. So, But people are right when they say what they feel. You're always right when you say what you feel. So definitely good to listen to that at the very least. How do you go about making... That was a good question, I have to think about that one a lot too. How do you go about making a decision that seems logically inconsistent but translates to fun? That just seems like a tough question to answer. But I, I get what you're going for. A lot of the time it's just accidents, man. It's, it's a co combination of an accident and just like throwing enough stuff in it to where something cool could happen. And often it, it does. Like give people enough tools in Super Smash Bros with all the little technical stuff and amount of options and people will find fun stuff from it. Um, and then sometimes accidents happen like Melee or uh, StarCraft Brood War or maybe, I don't know, I don't know if I could consider Diablo 2 an accident. I feel like that was pretty intentional. So, But my best example is Brood War's like, game balance in the end, right? It's still like, somewhat debated to this day, like who's, what's the best race? Maybe Terran? Who knows? But it can, re it can be, you can't really just like implant your genius 
technical idea into your game that people are gonna like super love because um, I guess what I've heard about it is if you are able to figure it out and plan for it then the players aren't gonna find it as interesting and like thought-provoking because you the designer could figure it out. often the players go much beyond what you originally designed for so it's, it can be hard to figure out you know what to put there so you kind of just want to give them a bunch of tools in my opinion and see what they come up with because you can't really you're basically saying at that point well i think i'm going to be a really good player in my head so here's my like cool technical skill that i'm giving you and that's it but in, instead give them all the tools and they'll figure out some cool stuff hey widowmaker nice to hear from you Hopefully that made sense. I tried. A lot of that is just stuff I've kept in my head and never tried to verbalize, so I'm not sure if it came out perfectly. You should uh, launch a simple game and then try to make it better. Don't. Uh, if not, you're going to spend too much time on nonsense. Oh, I believe in that too. Um, even if like we're not 200% on every single mechanic and system that we have in Everland for release, we're gonna improve it. Um, we have a lot of plans for the future and we can always listen to feedback and react. So we're not just gonna, just gonna spend a ton of time like in development phase trying to figure out, you know, is this better in yellow or orange? It's just, we'll pick one and see what people say and then go from there. That's kind of my philosophy so far. Who came up with the name? That was Byron, I believe, came up with the name. Have I ever 1v1 Mango? It's actually, like I have randomly. He came over our place at what, like four years ago after some party. He was really drunk, but I, I played against his Falco as Marth. Never won once, even when he's drunk, but he's pretty good when he's drunk anyway, so. In Melee, of course. You guys not watching the Melee Summit tourney? I watched some of it. The last couple ones I didn't like last couple like summits I didn't watch too much of but I was watching every second of it that I could but uh, previous years just haven't been as much into melee I guess do I, did I ever get into Street Fighter or Tekken I have 300 hours in Street Fighter but somehow I never liked the game I just played because my friend played and we always played together all the time but outside of like trying to execute like the full guile corner combos I never had that much fun I like to jump I think that's why I love jumping you do not jump in that game so I'll play a game I'll play any of the anime fighters or like Dragon Ball fighters you know just responded a few messages and left that feed um something was important I forgot um who are my favorite ultimate pros I can give my top two off the top of my head. You're I'm right. Curious. You're right with one. One's Void, and the other is MK Leo because I really do think he's just better than everyone right now, and not playing the best character. Is Void a uh, Sheik? Void's the best Sheik. He's also just he's the most precise player I've seen as well. Like he never messes anything up. He's always doing what he's intending to do, and that's just hard. Like Joker is like the third or fourth best character, but. MK Leo just makes him look like it's the best character ever to exist. I want to watch that actually. Yeah, I want to watch that, but not exactly in the set way they present it. I mean, when it's a tournament. Oh, maybe, you'd want to watch the video. Uh, one of the videos I linked to before, where maybe, they where they know, slug. I, no, I want to watch it like in the living room, like him playing against you. Oh, you know, because then I, hmm. you kind of you you don't get a sense of what it means as a noob. Right, right, right. Because they're, uh, they're, they're actually so no, many Yomi levels deep in their there's metagame. There's no uh, point of reference. Right. I don't know what it means. He's playing against another good guy. It means nothing. Yeah. I actually could set up a tournament that's very cool where everyone know like, now that people have saw you play against Miskiff and saw me play against Miskiff, then we could invite some pros over. And then there's, the pro, it won't only be cool for a little bit. That, no, it'll be the, cool for like an hour. There's this like chess tournament they do where they start with, they make two teams and they start with the lowest rated players on each side. And over, after someone loses, the next person goes over and over. And it's very clear 
that when you get to the top players, they start crushing the, you know the noobs and stuff. So we could do yeah, it like that. It's cool. We don't have real ratings. We do tournaments for, like that in Everland. Yeah, we don't have real ratings for players or whatever. But you could guess, be like, okay, here's this guy. I feel really good, really cozy, really peaceful. Is there progression in Everland? Um, originally, when I joined the team, I didn't feel like they had much plans for progression. I'm not sure exactly, but I didn't not see a ton. much. It was almost entirely social. It was going to be like mini games. And it was going to be like, like Club Penguin. Yeah, more like Club Penguin, but I've I've since added a lot more progression to the game. Which, I'm because he decided it was good, then I'm fine with it. But I, I had a different initial vision for the game where it was really simple. And I thought people would still like it. Because the thing is... The thing is, uh, it, it would grab a certain amount of players. They say there's four player types, the bar Bartle? Yeah. And 80% of them are socializers. And I think it would grab 80% of people who play Club Penguin. Club Penguin was popular for a reason. Mm -hmm. it, ha it, it One of the most popular games ever, if you talk to anyone, they'll be like, yeah, I know what Club Penguin is. At yeah. 200 million registered it's users. Uh, you won't have the collectors, which is a Yeah, yeah, you just lose them. Yeah, but he wants to appeal to all the player types. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. I just thought it was going to be too much. Scope. Scope, and um, now we have a bigger team, so we can handle it. Yeah, we have twenty-eight people. I think people will enjoy progression. We though. can do it. It'll be fun. I mean, no, we're, I mean, we're already doing it. So. Yeah, we're already well along the way. So. so we have we have reputation and achievements and quests, quests and requests, which are like tat, like daily tat. Uh, what are they like? They're like an Animal Crossing thing. So like uh, an NPC will want an item from you and like eventually we might have crafting or something to make it more complete, but you have to go either buy the item or get it from somehow and bring it to them and it'll add up some reputation and reputation unlocks other things. Like it all is supposed to work together. You know? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to have crafting and farming, but we can't have it on the launch. It's just too much it's scope. too much, yeah. Which, I mean, there's a reason MMOs, have, a lot of MMOs have been updating for 20 years or whatever, right? So we're just coming out right now in 2020. Not right now, but in 2020. And then we'll, we'll add a lot of fucking shit. We'll ev evolve forever. Yep. But um, there's a lot of stuff we can't do right on the launch. Which is fine. I'm really happy with how this actually got to this point. Like, I, I have this satis... I'm already as satisfied as when the game is out. Because... I got over the hill. There was a point where I thought the game was never gonna finish. And for good reason. I just had some shitty people on the team. They were only in it for the money. I'd love to talk about that part, from my point of view at least. Sure, what's your point of view? So, okay, he started the game spontaneously as normal, as he always does with stuff, expected. Mm -hmm. But he didn't really know how to run a company. He'll admit that any day of the week. Um, and it was, very hard to find people the right people to make a game right you need back-end engineers to make your servers but you can't see any of the work they're doing and you don't know have coding experience to know whether or not they're good so finding a good person there is just a matter of luck at that point and initially you didn't get lucky unfortunately um and then the person running his project also um wasn't the best for him and he, that's another one where he he wasn't sure what a video game company normally does for someone who should run the, you know the majority of their tasks and everything or how to set that up so to him it seemed fine on the surface but to someone who's like for me who's been in AAA when I joined I was like you guys are missing a lot of shit here's what we need to add or whatever but eventually he started weeding people out uh, after the beginning and slowly he was finding like I found on my own that they were bad before you joined yeah some yeah, of, yeah exactly but um it took I don't me know how exactly you, it, you it basically it just cost me a lot of money to figure it out right and in that sense, I'm very happy for you because it could have no, been No, it worse. cost me money, time, and mental strain. Yeah, but the... There's a guy who took a meeting with Tencent for an Everland meeting, and then he tried to pitch his own game idea or some shit. And he was the project lead. Yeah. I don't even know what he pitched. I have no idea what he but did. But like... I just found out later. <laughs> in my head, it just... It could have gone worse. He could have ran out of money and been, been like, fuck this, or, or been like, fuck this, because everyone's trolling him with this project. I got trolled really hard. Yeah. And I had to throw away the entire game after I had already spent, um, well, in just 2018, I spent $270,000 on Everland, and I definitely had to throw all that away. I th that was just in the trash. And then, in, I guess it was the growing, I, I, but I preferred, I would have, if you think it, if you think it through too much and don't just start trying to do something, 
for most people you just never start at all. So I actually prefer what happened that I just YOLO started, got random people, not random, but you know, pretty random, pretty fucking random people. <laughs> yeah. I tried to hire him right away, but when I had nothing, he didn't want to join yet. Yeah. I tried to hire him instantly. The people I knew, but they didn't want to leave Blizzard to work on Everland, which didn't exist. Right. So I hired random people and then they fucked me. I learned from it. I learned, I actually was way too trusting of the random person. I didn't realize if you take an average person and just give them power, give them some power and money, they will steal it from you a lot of the time. You know, they don't, I guess all the people I've been around in my life who I played games with at a high level happen to be nice people, I guess. So the moral of the story was over time he learned to be a better boss how to figure out who's actually good at their job or whatever and at this point i'm very happy with where where he's come and i feel like he's just been a great boss for the entire team i think any any of the guys on the team could speak for that and you know i'm proud of him for that aspect thanks and he doesn't ever give a compliment where it's not he doesn't really believe it so it means 10 times more coming from Talbot. sure yeah but now we both feel like we have a lot of amazing people on this team like incredible people um, we just, for example, Everyone's so fucking amazing on the team now. Yeah, yeah. It's our, crazy. Our lore guy is in the chat. He's so good. At, I like. I was planning very simple lore myself, and I was like, maybe we need a lore guy. I'm not sure. And then he sent us something that you know we were like, can hey, make something for us. It's like one day of his work is like weeks of our work. You know. Yeah. So. My, mine was okay or whatever, but he, he's really fleshing out like a, a genius story, and he's gonna be actually be sharing it with uh, our internal team tomorrow, showing everyone what he's come up with so far. So we're excited for that. That's just one, right? We have we have like twenty I something. Think Josh awesome. is the craziest one to me. Yeah, Josh. Because Josh, we have a nineteen-year-old. We have a nineteen-year-old guy who's been coding since he was six, and he like made his own little private servers of like Toontown and some social MMOs. And he like replied, he's like, "I love social MMOs. I really want to do this." And I was like, "I had low expectations." You know, I was like, "Okay, let's see what happens." And he's just a god. He's just like an actual. Let's not get his ego too high. Prodigy. Hard. Hope he doesn't see this. Is the word. We, is the word we <laughs> Ego's already high. He's probably high enough, dude. <laughs> like, so I, I paid him to quit school to work on Everland. Like, or not nec- it wasn't that. that he, he didn't force him, actually. I didn't force him. He wanted to do it. Yeah. We, we I just, said it poorly, maybe. Yeah. We, we brought it up at some point as a, like an option, and he thought about it a lot before bringing it up back up to us and saying, yeah, that's, that sounds like the right play. So. Yeah, and we have a guy who he has – on the team, working under Josh is someone who has a master's degree from Oxford. So he sees directly like that school doesn't necessarily add that much value. Although the guy with the master's from Oxford is really a he has good work ethic. His work ethic's amazing. Yeah. Right. Which is what I guess what he learned from going to school. But Josh actually knows how to code better. Right now, it's a matter of experience as well. He just has more experience doing it, so he's faster at it. But eventually, we believe. You know, yeah, I think I think Cheyenne will be. He's already sped up a lot. Cheyenne is the work ethic is insane, so I think the Cheyenne will just keep catching up, maybe even surpass Josh one day. We'll see, yeah. Josh. In maybe theory, he'll fucking pass you, dude. In theory, he could. But yeah, Cheyenne, yeah, Cheyenne's under Josh right now. Yeah, I mean, like, Josh is his lead, you know. And Razor's happy. He's actually using the master's degree he has in writing for writing things. That's our our lore guys in chat. Razor OS. Cozy. Man, we have excellent artists. Artists are fucking insane. Every fuck, every person who sees the artist is like, "What the fuck?" We ask everyone what their favorite part about the game is so far. It's just it's art. It's been the same answer every time for yeah a year. Yeah, but eventually, when we make a mini game that's sick, I think once we actually have more the sick, like a sick three v three mini game, we'll be like, okay, that, like yeah, that connect with each other and everything. Hopefully, it starts shifting a little bit to you know the gameplay is fun. <laughs> 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 But we don't need the reward. Like we, we I, I, I still feel. Like Someone cool. said work experience greater than degree. So far, in my experience, I agree. Work with experience that. greater than degree times a hundred, from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, it t- like degree means I almost don't care at all that they have a degree, except that I know they'll have decent work ethic. Now that I've hired, I've hired and fired, well over a hundred people for this project, so I, I, I can say, that degrees don't matter, except for work ethic. You know that if someone with a degree won't just like fuck off and disappear as often for like weeks because they have to not do it in school. They couldn't just yell like, I'm out. 
Oh, the, I'm back. The hard one is you know, if, oh, they I'm have, out. if they have a degree and experience, it's like a guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, degree and experience is sick. You have to pay them a lot, basically, immediately. Yeah. But it's really hard to get both those things together. Yeah, because if you have the degree and you just came out of school, you don't have the experience yet. Yeah. And then you, you even start low, even though you have a nice degree. It's, you know. Yeah. Well, if any of you in chat, now that you're all listening, uh, we are looking for one person who's really good at Unity. If, if you, I, I'd prefer someone He says really just, good, but we mean exceptional. Like, eh, yeah. Yeah, like ridiculous. We have one guy who's actually like a ridiculous Unity god, but he doesn't have a ton of time. So he would, you would work under him and he would tell you what to do. We do interviews for it, of course. He interviews you and yeah. he'll know if you're shit in the first five minutes, but we need someone who's exceptional at Unity. If you're like a, a child prodigy who's been doing Unity the whole time, and who, how can they contact us if this is the case? And if this is the case, go to Everland's Twitter and there's an email on there. It's dev at playeverland.com. I personally read through them all. Please don't spam it super hard. <laughs> I'll get someone else to start reading it. We're, we are doing that because we, we are doing that because I get too many now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I actually just naturally get like 50 applications every day doing nothing. They're, most of them are really bad, but I'm just AFK and that's how many we get. It's pretty crazy. Um, so when I don't respond to one of them, don't feel super bad. What do you mean with bad? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Or, like, don't feel bad? Is that what you... No, he means what, what do you mean when the application is bad? What do I look at? So I open the email and... I, I'm immediately. Your writing style says a lot about you, first of all. I think that the writing style does say a lot, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, they could just be from another country, right? So then I don't judge it super ultra mega hard. I think it's But if their, their thought process is, their thought process needs to be that I'm going to show you how well I work, not tell you, right? So, like, yeah. if an artist is applying, for, for ob it's more obvious. If an artist is applying, obviously they need to show some fucking art. Right? right, that they can do that's similar to your style. Now, in the same sense, a programmer, I guess, I mean, Anton interviews them, but I would assume he watches them try to, or talks them through that how they would code. For us, he too. asks them how yeah. they would code this in this situation, right? So, sometimes someone says they have X, XYZ years of Unity experience or coding experience, and then you know we give them a trial or whatever, and it's like they're incredibly slow or don't have the best processes. Like That one's been hard for us. Art has been a lot easier. <laughs> also, we've delegated music, that. Music, I, if, if you want to do music for the game, you just send me a song you made that you think would fit in the game. You could watch the VOD of the game from August. Um, right, that one's easy. And you, you send me a song, I, I listen to it, and if I like it, I hire you, you know. Now we actually have a lot of people making music, so less likely I hire you, but before you had that chance, for sure. Sly Wolf is really good. Lily Pichu is going to be really good. She's like, just so perfectionist that she hasn't completed one song yet, but she has, she showed a bunch of songs that are almost done. So. Thought you were getting the Japanese guy to do the music? Hiroki made songs already for the game, yeah. The login. But not all of them. Yeah, he's not gonna, I can make him make every song for the game, make him. I mean, I can hire him to do every song for the game, but I actually think there's something cute about having friends do it. And I think Lily Peach is amazing. I think Sly Wolf is amazing. And Hiroki already made some songs for the game. They're already in there. I, 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 like, I like the idea of having a lot of different people make songs. Yep. We're still hiring artists. We're hiring one more artist. What, what, um, we actually want a person to just place the assets in the world. Because right now our best artist is doing it. And it's kind of a waste of his time, I think. Not a waste. I mean, placing he, assets... He likes like, doing it is the, is the other thing. He doesn't like doing it. Yeah. So it's oh, a waste of his... You don't think he likes doing it? I don't think so. Mm. No, he's just like, um, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing today? He's like, putting down trees. <laughs> yeah, that part for sure we need someone else. I've been placing trees for the last five hours. But like, that, like designing like a city, town type thing. Different. But yeah, if someone actually is placing, wants to... I guess he would sketch it out for you and you would just place it if you want to do the basic job. But if you actually want to figure out where you want to place it on your own, 
and you're good at it, that'd be impressive. Yeah. Uh, someone who does world building, level designs. You know. We have thousands and thousands of assets. So many now. I don't even know the number. I couldn't tell you. Just trees. We have so many. It's just, and I noticed in other games, sometimes they just use one tree over and over. Yeah. But we have like... I think, I think, I think a good sweet spot if you're only going for minimal trees is, is two. Yeah, yeah. You either do just one or two trees. Yeah. Or you do hundreds of trees, right? Yeah. So we have hundreds of trees. Every tree is different. I don't think it's we cool. absolutely need a hundred trees, but if, you know. But no, you walk through a scene and every tree is different. I, I like know. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it it does add immersion. It adds it's immersion. Not, it's not. It's definitely not necessary. I love it. It's, it's a necessary nice, to it's me. A nice I'm not releasing the game without all the trees. <laughs> all right. Which we already have the trees now. So yeah, we have something. We have got so, so many fucking trees, dude. Right. Like look at the fucking trees. We're invested in the other ninety-eight trees, so we should keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you look at look at the vod from August, which is actually a long time ago. We have way more art now. But the VOD from August, that's six months ago? There are so many trees already, dude. All right. they, want, they want Arya to place stuff. I wonder if that would work out. You want, we were going to have wait, her... What? We want Arya to do what? To place stuff in the world, is what they were asking. Someone. I was going to have her design... Uh, Did she already announce she works in the game? Huh? Might have. Who said that then? I don't know. Hire Arya Saki to place objects. Uh, maybe she would do a good job of that. Maybe, you know? Yeah. It, it, you have to learn Unity is the problem. Um, true. Yeah. I think she could do it. She has placed the things in our living room very well. <laughs> think about it. It actually translates, right? If you place some stuff in the living room really well, don't you also place things in a virtual world very well? I would think so because it's the same like concept. Your interior, you're designing, you know, a room or I, a thing. I would a say, map. I'd say you do. I want to play Smash now. Let's play. Out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah, totally fine. Or do you want to keep talking? You, you guys, how, what do you, you guys prefer? We talk about this than play Smash, right? I kind of want to play Smash though. <laughs> we could. I see a lot of keep talking. What is yes in this situation? Yes, play Smash. You have to answer. Oh, I'll make tea. I'll make tea while we decide. I it's, keep it's going, like 50-50. I have this weird feeling that I want to AFK while decisions are made. That's just a lazy I'm person. I'm not making any, any You're not going to make the decision, right, right? So I have to make the decision. So what? I'm not going to play Smash. We, we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, we can go back to talking later. Let's do Smash. Okay. Will you set it up while I make tea? I set it up the last three times. Like move the sh yeah. camera and stuff? Uh -huh. You're going to get mad at me because of how I do it, though. No, you do it. I trust. All right. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Super Smash Ultimate. Done. Making tea. Should I zoom out? Do I have to do that? Huh? No, 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 you just. Oh, just crop it. No, no, don't crop it. Just drag it. We'll, we'll go sit there at the end, right? No. I'll let, uh, well, for now, I'll put the camera on you setting it up. Excellent. Why can't I grab the corner? You can't. Fine. Well, I'll let you show it. It isn't doing it. Huh? Why isn't it? Like there's a button. Oh, you're using it. It does do something. It works. It works. Oh, it's, it's got it. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't change the mouse, so I, I was expecting that. Are we going to have to restart because we don't have signal? Or no, you turned the game off? Uh, turn the switch off. Turn it back on. All right. Tell me about the size, chat. I don't know. I see the game. The input swapping randomly again. We need to change that. Is that a setting in the TV? You plug something in or turn something on and it's like, oh cool, let's swap. To move the camera back? Wait. What's wrong with you it? You don't want to, right? We can't see you, can't see you. Hang on, let me check. Oh, no, it's just, I, I turned the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what they meant, turn. I was like, is the order on the OBS wrong? <laughs> yeah. 
That's why we have to wear a team towel. Yeah, see? I wouldn't have thought of that one. Thank you, Starks, for the sub. Did you you took it off the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Zoom back in? Wait, it didn't unzoom, did it? I don't think it was. Cheek buffs are fun. Oh, Bob Jay, what's up? You don't want tea? Just me? Uh, I'll have tea. Okay. What, remember that one that someone said the other day was really good? Give me that one. Zen? Yeah. You'll like Earl Grey, I think. I've already had Earl Grey, though, before. You don't like Earl Grey? No, I do, but I, I want to... I guess they like that. Yeah, let me try something new, though. All right. All right. Um, you won't like it. It's not your stuff. That's fine. I'll try it. Okay. Okay, I only play like 10 characters or so, but what do you guys want me to play? Myron's gonna play Lucina. What do you guys wanna see? Whatever one I see of the ones I play first. Joker? Okay, I'll play Joker. Are you guys judging my skin? If I picked, if I picked like this one, would you guys be pissed? I'd be pissed if I picked this one, I'll say so. I like the normal skin for Joker. It's just the best one. Schoolboy is cool. I think there's a huge divide on that one for people. I don't like the school one. Duck Hunt. Joker is cool. Yeah, he's cool. I don't like his uh, his hurt boxes on a lot of moves. If I put a lot of honey in it, you're going to like it. I'll make you like it. Yep, yeah, you'll, you'll make it. Play Isabel. I have trolled him with an Isabel here and there, but it, not this time. Don't play Isabel, dude. Yeah. If you play Isabel, I'm just throwing a switch out to fuck him in the Damn. It, that's a long drop, too. That switch is dead. <laughs> 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 or someone someone actually might be dead who's like walking around. Play Pikachu? I, I feel like my Pikachu is so bad. So I have never played Pikachu really. I know all the broken moves, and I know some of the combos maybe off the top of my head. The Dragon's hard on Pikachu actually. Byla. Put this in the sink. I mean, Merc was really drunk. It's possible. Yeah. Or yeah, or maybe our other roommate is no back there. Way, dude. No. Okay. I mean, he was saying the other day, yeah, just put stuff in the sink. Not that though. That's retarded. Oh, you can't say that word anymore, right? I didn't hear it. I don't know what you said. See, so, yeah, I played Palutena, Roy, Rom, Yoshi, Marth, Lucina, Captain Falcon, Wolf, Joker, Sheik. My peach is really bad, but I have some kind of peach. I'll do Joker though. Someone said Joker. I'm gonna show him the power of the down B. I don't think he's never played against Joker. Down B the dot? Huh? The down B the dot. Damage over time? No. That's side B? That's side B, yeah. I need some Pokemon. Who are my Pokemon that I actually would play? I've played Pokemon Trainer casually. What does casually mean to you? For like an hour. I was like, hmm, let me try this character. Oh boy. I didn't like Charizard that much. I don't like Squirtle that much. Ivysaur's fun. Where the fuck is... Other Pokemon that I would play. I guess I can play Inkling a little bit. Spam back I, I here. Play against Joker. I mean, oh, Shulk. Cool. I have Shulk too. Shulk's cool. Naked Shulk? Full party Shulk? <laughs> yeah. I don't play Wario. He feels too 
I, I just don't like how like how his nair is. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to explain it. I don't want my tools to feel so cheesy like that, or his like command grab. I prefer like feeling like my character is more honest, you know. So like Sheik or Lucina. Oh. Yeah, grab feels so cheesy. Wolf feels pretty like, honest. Uh, in, in Incineroar, shit. Yeah, like getting hit by the Incineroar side B, yeah. I hate that move. Because the, the problem with those moves too is as you get to a higher level, they just fall off so hard. Like, I'm pretty sure Incineroar is like bottom 10 worst characters right now. No one will get hit by that move. But like, at the lower level, an Incineroar could just fuck someone up because that move is insane. Right. To a to a low level player. So no one, no one's gonna get hit by that move. It's pretty slow. I mean, they'll get hit by it, but yeah, it's pretty slow. And if you miss, it's like a free any whatever whatever punish you want. It's happening. You can smash. Yeah, you can smash target. Uh huh. Finishing off this honey. Uh, Rectal is making tea, and then he's gonna sit down. and We're gonna play. I think I take longer to do these tasks than most people. Which is why. Maybe I don't. No, probably normal. But you decide to do them at interesting times. <laughs> interesting. I mean, sometimes we assume you have to do it. This is the perfect time during the transition. Before we start? Yeah. If you, I mean, most people would just get like a water or something. Or, so, or like their really cool other roommate would bring them this stuff. I don't have a really cool other roommate. Yeah. I do, but they wouldn't do that. It's not, it's not when your roommates are too fucking... I love my roommates. But they're too well off to do this kind of stuff. They hire an assistant, you know? Yeah. Did not mean to pick that stage. ETA? Uh, I have the tea now. Not the pee. I come back from peeing. I throw away the tea bags. The tea's completely ready. I mix the honey in it. Okay. He's gonna take ten minutes. Got it. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna tell me if this tea has enough honey for you. Okay. It might not. Uh. Oh, you're playing your computer. Uh. No. Let me see. Is it hot? Yeah. Ooh, it's really hot. I almost dropped it instantly. Oh, I'll give you a coaster, dude. How do I not burn myself with this? This is very hot. Yeah, maybe you don't drink it yet. Let's try it. I'll, I'll try it later and I'll, I'll trust you. It's good. Alright. I'll add more if I need to. You know you're old when you use coasters. That's the moment you realize. Cool combo on Bowser where you can just keep up airing. I've never used it against a human, but why not practice it? Isn't it forward throw? I mean, generally, yes, but they don't go very far for the first down throw, so you can get away with it, especially on big characters. I almost always forward throw, though. supposed to be a true combo and I just can never do it. So we have to like delay one of the hits and stuff. That's like my favorite combo in the entire game. It's very simple but so good. Quick two piece with the bouncing fish. The way this move works is very interesting too. I think it's intended to be a move where you hit one person with it and you're fighting other people and you keep smacking people because you, you can like keep swinging after you hit something. It's hard to show necessarily, but I think it can hit up to like five times or something, but I've had situations where I, I hit someone into a wall here and then I bounce off the wall and hit them again and kill them. I think I have a replay of it actually. 
So I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I wanted to show you that replay too. Let me find it. Your friend's cousin really wanted to come play you in Smash at some point, and I'm gonna see if tonight is when he wanted to. Okay. Hey. Can I know this this, um, this friend? Are they pro or are they just like my friend's good? I don't know. Oh, it's his cousin actually. Oh, cousin. Sorry. Vault. Wait, you don't have sound? Huh? Oh, it's low, right? So they like, just hear it through the TV. We can just turn the TV on. Let's see if I did one. And the mic can be on omnidirectional. It's right now on cardioid or whatever, which is like this. But I couldn't move the little notch. Mm. It's fine. Okay, you you we'll probably turn it up a little bit for them, maybe. Nah. <laughs> I turn the TV up. It should be fine. You ready? Oh, you already turned the TV up. I was gonna show you a replay. replay. I was. I'm, if it's not the right one, I'm. Wait. Turn when? Off. What's the replay from? I. Oh, okay, this is Fox. So it's not it. This is you. Wait, how did you get to your replays on my account? I saved one, only one when I was playing Sheik. I'm taking out your tea bag. Okay. Is it this one? You saved it here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was here. I played online for a bit and I got a cool combo and then I was like, oh, cool, I'll save that. I think it was versus this guy. Is there a way to fast forward though? Because I think it was some deep into the game. I don't see fast forward. How do I display this? There we go. X down. Okay. Yeah, because this basically goes along with what I was saying earlier about the bouncing fish. That it can hit multiple times on one person. I almost never get it. There's the combo that Fodger was just talking about. You can actually go for better off of forward throw, but it's very hard. You have to, like, do a perfectly timed forward air into the bouncing fish. And I miss it every time it's online, so I don't give a fuck anyway. Back here. Yeah. And I'll just sip my, my tea while I wait for this cool combo to happen, and then we can play. I don't think it's here. This oh. map looks so cool. This is one of the tournament maps, or no? This is just Battlefield. So, you oh, know, you yeah, know, yeah. Right? Oh, Battlefield skin of yeah. this. What, what is this, like Castlevania? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. looks it. sick. I want to play on this. Can we just play this over and over? This exact one? No, let's play Battlefield randomized. Is it boring for you to play Battlefield? I'm trying to think if that's a, if that's a possibility. Yeah, I, yeah I, I know how to do it. Oh, I guess you turn on all stages and leave it on uh, Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to make a new rule set. That's fun. I knew this would be long because every time I fight Joker, it's... Is it's, Battlefield a good map? Yeah. It's the one most people play on online. I think it gives you, out of the out of FD or Battlefield, it gives you the most practice. If anyone's just tuning in, this is a replay. Yeah, we're just watching replay while we're drinking tea and trying to show a combo that I got. Camera's dead at Wreckful. Oh, fuck, the battery hasn't been charged in this whole time. Oh, fuck. They could troll me here and I wouldn't know, but... No, I, I saw someone else say it too a second later. Why did I unplug the battery, dude? That was a bad move. Oh, I was trying to switch cameras. Here we go. Oh, now I have there a reason to switch the camera. Bam! Alright. Well, now I have a reason to switch the camera, but I need a different cable. And of course, Byron missed the combo I was going to show him. Oh, uh, dude, it's because the battery was dead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Show me. I, I'm not doing three minutes of that again. But you can't fast forward through a video? I didn't see a way. Maybe that there's bad UI. Maybe chat knows. Fuck, I can switch to a different camera. Oh, fuck. Oh, someone, can someone get a clip of it and Byron can watch it on his computer? That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, camera's charging. We'll have camera later. Alright, so we need to... So for now, let's go full screen. We'll just, you know, turn that part up. All oh, right. Does it actually say that for them? Jesus. Yeah. I'll just go like this. It's lyric stream now, boys. And then I switch back. 
Now that I'm drinking hot tea, I'm hot, so I want to slightly open that door. Dude, I'm, I'm... Okay, now I'm ready. I'm actually ready, ready to play. Okay, every stage... Oh wait, I need to do... Every stage, battlefields. Is that a, is that a button? Is that in advance? I do have other cameras I can plug in. If I just could figure out how to work the tripod. Wait, where is, where is it? You, you said you knew where it was. Oh, it, you don't yeah. even have to change anything in here. Battlefield only. You can go in the stage selection and you can press the button. Yeah, but now it's going to just immediately pick Battlefield sure. every time without anything. Oh, we don't have to pick a stage at all. Yeah. Battlefield randomized. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. I, I hope it's going to say Battlefield. Can I play this sound with my yeah. capture card? We could, yeah. Bajio said do Omega 2 for FD. Let's do FD and Battlefield Randomized, right? Mm -hmm. Or is FD a shitty map? FD's fine. Okay. Hey, Jocko, Coco. I'm reading chat. What's up, guys? What's up, yo? Alright. Um, Joker. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna send out one more text. Oh wait, did they get the clip for you? Um, uh, yeah. If you scroll up a little bit. That's not chat, okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Here. Okay. The clip is here. Watching it. We're clicking. Here we go. Boom. No, not yet. Not yet. Actually, yeah. And back. Yeah. So it, when you're bouncing fish, you get to do it again after. So I hit him twice. Bouncing fish. Yeah, the, the like. Is that side B? Down B for me. Down B, okay. What is side B on Sheik? The bomb. The like. Oh, the bomb, and then the regular B is the shurikens. Yeah. All okay. right, ready? I'm fighting a computer. Let's play. How do I? How do I connect? Oh, right, yeah. I'll turn the webcam back on in like five minutes, or after a few matches. You guys enjoy the lyric stream for now. I accidentally killed the camera. All right. Here we go. Okay. Are you right. comfortable? All right, I'm comfy. I'm the most comfy I could possibly be. So I get really focused on the game. Going. Sometimes I'll use the same move twice just because I'm lazy to move my hand. <laughs> That's like not a good reason. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that reason. Like I'll, I'll use down tilt twice because I'm lazy to move my hand off this control stick. Ooh, ooh, the hard hit. Oh. I was doing well. How did I not make it back? Was I not spamming jump hard enough? Oh. You're a warlock. Is this nuts? Yeah, it's actually a warlock. Snutty boy. I never lost the snuts in a duel. Ooh. Rogue's are always better than Warlocks in duels, though. Actually, not always. Depends on the expansion. Oh, you got me. I love this fucking game, dude. <laughs> it feels so nice, it's satisfying to hit you. Cause you're really hard to hit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get it, oh, I shouldn't have jumped. Oh, God. I should, I, I hate dash attack on this character. Every time I do it, I regret it. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. It's the only bad move, I think. Just do the, do the running forward tail, it's the same shit. It's so much better, yeah. Wish I could just rebind it. 
I don't want Dash Attack even bound. Look, you're dead, yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, you're good. No, I'm dead now. No, I'm good. Okay, no, I'm still good. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> I'll be good for a while. With our stand out, he hits very hard. I mean, drag down up here, up smash. Yeah, of course I have those. Sheik is the same character almost. If there's any character that's similar to Sheik, it's actually this one. I just like Sheik more. Something. Uh, does no webcam make you feel more cozy? Or do you feel exactly the same? I'd say the same. Got used to the webcam after having a webcam on my stream for ever. What did someone else want me to play? I'll try a different character. I'll try a wolf or something. Okay. It's a little slow sometimes. Wait, what, what feels good and fluid? Who feels fluid? I love the fluid feeling of Lucina. Roy, Roy feels fluid? Yeah. Is the recovery the same? Very similar. He goes a little bit lower, though. Um, Wolf's pretty fluid, too. I'll, I'll play Wolf. I want to actually look different than the sword character, you know? For the boys. I would not say Falco is fluid. Greninja is fluid? Maybe Greninja does feel fluid. Greninja is... I don't know. It's not a good character. You gotta, you gotta like know certain things about him to use him. When he's more hurt, he does better, right? Him? No. That's, um... Who the fuck is that? Wait, it's also with a G. Who's Greninja, then? Greninja's just a water Pokemon. Yeah, when he's more hurt, he does better, doesn't he? No, that's Lucario. Oh, okay. Is Lucario a Pokemon? Yeah. You, you had it all along. You I'm a boomer. Good. I only know the first generation Pokemon, okay? Actually, I know second generation, too. What? That didn't grab a ledge? <laughs> I just doubt, like, I, I fast fell to it, I, you know? Yeah. Wait, can I not do that? What? Hold on, let me see. If you hit, if you hold down as you go past it, you, you can't grab it. Oh, we have to let go of... Okay, let's start this one over. I lost. <laughs> I died twice now. <laughs> I mean, this is what happens when I play a new character. It's just like, I fall to the edge, and I'm dead. Yeah. My friends are just used to it at this point. Ask Rage. I'll just log on a new character and I'll, I'll die three times without anyone touching me. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Let me pick the best skin. Hold on. I gotta get immersed in this character. This is obviously the best one. Does he know about out of shield options? He knows about Lucina's out of shield options. Um, up smash is really good out of shield on roll. Up smash? Let me see. So I go like this and I go like this? Yeah. It just it hits really far to the sides of him. Keep accidentally tilting. I have it on the hard, the thing where you have to press really hard to smash. Mm. It's too hard, maybe. Okay, ready? Yeah. His forward smash is pretty hard to punish. Also, after after down throw, you can dash attack on that character. Yeah, he's pretty fluid if you use dash attack. Feels pretty good. Yeah. I like being able to use dash attack because uh, Lucina can't, just can't use that move. And I was a dash attack lord on in Fox, <laughs> like in uh, melee. I don't even know if dash attack was good in melee, but uh, Fox was decent. It was I mean, decent compared to like way dashing around and doing other shit and shining, but not, not great, of course. I mean, for among noobs. Yeah, for noobs. Spam wave dash shine a thousand times a second. What did people say? Something twenty xx. Yeah. The year where... Oh. The year where people only play Fox? Yeah. Because they've gotten good enough? It's actually Jigglypuff now. <laughs> yeah, wait, is, it, is Jigglypuff not better than Fox at the highest level? Oh my god, it's a too long of a discussion. Oh, oh, if... I know I know the answer. If there were actually perfect mechanics, Fox would be better, but people's mechanics are not good enough. Yes. Jigglypuff is a much safer bet. And yeah, yeah but if, if you really did a good. TAS or whatever, then Fox, yes. Fox yes. can't lose, right? I would, I would agree to that. Alright, casually got three stocked. Actually, man, what, what's my kill move? Up smash. Up smash. Up smash, forward smash, down smash, forward I saw jump. you kill me with this. Was that just troll? Um, that's just a read. It's a jump. Okay. Hard read if you jump and I go like that? Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. Up smash, that down dash, smash, and Literally smash. everything that's not a, like a fucking baby attack is like jab is, is just going to kill me. Cause you're wolf. Yeah. I tried to up smash out of shield. I didn't get it. Oh my god, it was that. 
Yeah, I did. Whoa! It just deletes people, right? Should be sure on the webcam back. Oh, that OP is so much worse than Fox. I was expecting Fox, and I was like, oh, I'll get there, there, 100%. Oh, yeah. His his not up, up B is really bad. He just, he, he barely so only straight up. up. You can actually side B. So there's a couple things about side B. One, you can side B to recover as well. Two, you can side B and then hold up or down, and it will change the height slightly. Pretty important, actually. I'll play. I'm trying to listen. You can side B and hold up or down, and it will change the height. That it goes, yeah. I can side B, hold up or down, and it will change the height that it goes. Oh, I can show you something fun. I need to just see it. Yeah, I want to show you something fun before we get into that. Um, yeah. So, sure. so I'm going to shoot a laser at you, and you're going to reflect it, and then hold reflector, okay? So actually just hold reflector right now. Wait, hold on. I see. Yeah, you're getting spammed. Okay. So I'm going to change the angle. Ch angle of what? Oh, it change, changes the angle. It's pretty significant to me. I don't know. Can be can mean hitting someone or not, you know. Uh, some, something happened. Oh, really bad. What? No. Not really bad, but there was a misunderstanding here. This might work out still. But. This is the best. I had a quick solution. Yeah. Okay. As long as he responds quickly. Okay, so I want you to just hold shine. Uh, I'll put my notifications on my phone just so I can see if it comes up. All right. Hold shine. Yeah. Keep holding it. Wait. Stay back a little bit. Back up, back up, back up. Are okay. we going to infinitely go back and forth? No, oh, uh, stay uh, back, uh, stay back. No. Oh, that's be exactly the right move. distance. You don't right? move. You don't move. I need to jump and do it, I think. Does that work? Back up a little bit. I I'll shoot you. Okay. You have to shine right after. Yeah, yeah. I know. I have to go at the max distance. Okay. Wait, this is not... It's not getting back to me. So yeah. I need one more step. Here, yeah. go. Damn. One more step. I don't know if you could actually go do go. it in this situation, but... It'd be nice if we could. Damn. Hmm. Is there some way to speed up the animation of it? So, I don't want to explain what happens. I just want to have it happen. How can we do this? I don't know how to make it any faster. Okay, yeah, shoot me. There you go. Maybe if I start shining, if I'm not just holding it, and I start it right as it gets to me. Because oh, you see, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. it'll work. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Okay, go. <laughs> There's a little delay on the input of it. Wait, yeah, okay. I have to it's understand it's the amount of delay. Go. You're too close at this point. I don't think we're gonna get it. Try again. I got it. I can't actually react to time where I'm just like you know it doesn't give you enough time to sh start doing yeah. that. Go. But, but anyway, so when you reflect something in general, it goes fifty percent faster and does fifty percent more damage. So we just let it go over and over and over and over, and then one of us lets go and it one shots us. Uh, no. Or it does not. Ninety nine percent. After five, it, I think it starts ignoring reflectors, and the other person just takes like sixty percent damage and gets fucked. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want to see it. Let's go. Okay, so wait, this and then up. Also, his 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 um. Let me let me let me play. This song's annoying. Yeah, it's a really. There's some really bad song. Actually, yeah. Let's quit the map. That's fine. We were we weren't even playing anyway. Need a third wolf. Pretty much. Okay. I actually feel like playing Lucina again, even after. So, yeah, I can play Wolf. You can observe Wolf as I'm. I'll observe Wolf against it, and then I'll see what's. Yeah. And then I'll swap the, the rolls. True. Sure. I can turn the webcam back on soon, chat. I can actually turn it on now, but I'm just lazy. I want to play already. I have to switch to the other screen. That's where something like this is useful, by the way. Be reverse. You see how I just ran off of That, and this character is really cool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I fucking love this game. 
This is the best game that exists right now, right? Uh, I mean, his opinion. In my opinion. That was the really best popular game that exists right now. I mean... Because I, 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 there could be an indie thing, but I haven't played it. For two competitive motherfuckers to play. Two combo. That was cool. It's just that easy access of it is nice. Everyone ends up having it. Something being popular makes it kind of OP. Because then any anytime you go anywhere, people have it in their living room. For us, at least. It's been happening. Yep. Then it's also a really good game. And it's getting patched. Have the, has the, have the patches been good? Like the balanced patch just I mean, now? As far as like top players go, they're not always that happy. The last one, they're actually But maybe happy. medium uh, skill players are really happy. Uh, no, they don't. They don't focus too much on balance. I'd say they they do stuff, but not what the people want. Basically, Ooh. but, but buff, they want people want to then the buff it. characters, and they keep doing it recently. So it's, you know, when I jump off, should I be doing down, or which one? Most of the time. So like, if a, if Wolf is recovering, right? He's probably gonna do this. Oh, I didn't think that through this way. I'm just thinking in general. You I, tell me that after. You don't think in general. You think specific. Sure. Um, but yeah. Bear or back air is probably better because okay. down air you're lo you're only looking for spike generally. Otherwise, you should probably just use fair if you're going for that because it'll be easier to hit. Merc. Let me see. Ready? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah like just that, fair. That felt good. Learning. I got a thought that I need to turn the webcam on to prove that that was me who had that fair. Otherwise, they'll think I switched some controllers with you to make me look cool. Dang. But I'm gonna be the one that loses in the end, so I won't look that cool. Ooh! You didn't see, expect that? See? Yeah. Ooh, I got the text. I need to read that text. Okay, got it. What time is it? Um, it's 8.56. Now, we do want to go eat at a good place. Mm -hmm. so, are, we, are, we, do we, are we still going to have friends over, or are they going leaving? I don't... I, they're just out. Um, oh, uh, hmm. We could do another Smash stream before you leave, by the way. doesn't have to be the last one. But let's play... Uh, I think we play for 30 more minutes, and then we go get dinner, because all the places close at 10. Okay. Now, I'll turn the webcam on now. Just so, because why not? Alright. I don't like that sound. Do -do -do. Isn't that the disconnect sound? That was weird. Oh, we have to. Yeah. Why does it think it's not charging? It should work now. Ta-da! Alright. Yeah, there's some bug, dude. Wait, this? Is it because it connected it to the computer? Yeah, yeah, didn't you have it a different way before? Yeah, I have it connected to the thing on the floor. Oh, it's this one. It's the wrong cable. Okay, now it's charging and... Oh, we should have just done this from the start. Right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had, uh, it was an accident. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what would happen. I was like, why did it go out? Okay. You're on the edge. I'm gonna back up. You're gonna get back on stage. We're good. Okay. You swap, thought that through. The inputs. Well, I'm just saying, uh, just go back to neutral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this needs to be a little more like that. Okay. Then this. What do I do? You. This is good. Switch the input. Oh yeah. I wish you could switch the input on here. But it's a TV. Yeah. But there, there is a way to rebind. You can make your. Um, you can use the universal. You can make your remote. phone. Yeah. You yeah. can make your phone a TV remote. All right. 
Ready, ready? Yep. Go. Oh, I was ready on. Okay. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. I wanted that to be a back air. Oop! I hate that move. Whoa! <laughs> as soon as you land one attack. So what's the true combo? Forward air at like 60 to 70 into side B. It has to be exactly 60 to 70? Mm -hmm. That's why I was fishing for forward air for like 10 moves. Good night, beef baby. Hey, vitamin cereal. Yeah, I like to just fuck with the settings. It's because the whole thing is a new streaming setup. I just set it up yesterday. It was it was on everything was on default. So yesterday we accidentally streamed in 720p. I really like uh, getting this. This was a good idea by them to let you play. There's two maps you like with different skins. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could have easily released the game without that idea. They could they could have tried to do it for more stages, perhaps, or like. I also think it would have been nice if they allowed the online play to include more stages than just the two, but I, th I think it's really cool that they did skin, for sure. So I haven't hit you yet, and I'm at 142%. Is that good? I think it's good. Hmm. What do you think, chat? we will just kill you here. See how I just fucking hit you randomly? Yeah. So far away. Not randomly on my screen. I mean... Questionable hitboxes, we'll go with that. Yeah. God. How do I hit you? Okay. Oh, fuck. You forgot, yeah. Did I air dodge? What did I do? You, you didn't have a jump. But you then, then you air dodge. Yeah, I thought I had a jump. Ah, oops. That was good. Good, I like grab. That was good. Oh! I did something! There is good there too. It can cover. I have to remember this moment, I did something. Okay. Back air was better, but there was still good. I, I couldn't f physically input, I wanted to. <laughs> okay, everyone pogged. That felt good. Yep. Now I need to get that to happen a lot more times. Yeah. And then I'll feel cool. Exactly. Thank you, chat. Now you only pog. have 2,000 I'm going to type pog. Wait, I'm going to pog myself because I have a laptop right here. Wow, that guy fucks. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah. This is Wolf, by the way. Gun. 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 Are you feeling sushi or what kind of food? I, I was down for sushi when you said that earlier. Yeah, okay. This is a good place. Ooh, now we have it. I, and I said this yesterday, but now we really have it set up. So now when, if we want to stream a different day. He went for a true combo and that's what happens. It wasn't true combo because I wasn't at exactly the right percent, right? Uh, I believe that's true. And you DI'd very far up, which really fucked me. Oh, I, I can DI it, so it's not a true, necessarily a true I think combo. I can react to your DI, but I was not ready to react to your DI. Maybe not though, because you have to you have to fucking press it so fast right after you forward air. Oh, Baju, I can't really see those particle effects. Wreckful, you approach very often with aerials. Yeah, is that bad? Oh, he can start to understand that I do that. Yeah, I should do. I want to practice doing the forward tilt approach. Can I just do it twenty times in a row? Yeah. The uh, side beats another good move. He taught me how to sliding forward tilt, which I didn't know how to do. And just don't get hit. I need to get used to. It. Oops. I don't even know if I'll get hit if I do this. I actually think her pro token can, can hit the crouching cheek with the sword on the. You saw my character is like sliding into him? Cool. Some characters go really far. Lucina is, is pretty damn far, honestly. She I, seen, I need to get this into muscle memory, so I'm just doing it autopilot, but then I also need to do it to this side. So wait. Yeah. Left, right thing. If you guys in chat don't know how to do it, it's because uh, you're noobs like me. You just run, you press the other direction, and then you press the C stick in the other direction. That didn't make who, much sense. Who knows why it works, but 
you run at them, you press direction again, uh, away from them, and then you C stick toward them. And then it makes you slide into them. Yeah, basically, instead of just running at them and then pressing the C stick, you run at them, turn around, and then press the C stick. That's a better way to explain it. But for some reason, it makes your character slide. Same concept of the reverse aerial rush. Where you dash forward, I can actually around. do the reverse aerial rush now, which is actually hard. It was harder than that thing, right? Or about uh, the same. Similar. They're just, yeah. they're just similar. This. Yeah. It's actually harder because if you want to do a short hop or a full hop, you have to you know, think about it a little bit. I'm doing it every time, right? I'm doing short hop every time, though. Mm -hmm. Full hop, I have to think. That's good because some people struggle to even do short hops consistently. I'm just pressing both at the same time. I'm doing the cheat code now. Oh, the cheat code version, yeah. Oops. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. So Tob, Tob's main is cheek. He's insane. Just, just so everyone knows. I like that. That was a reverse aerial thing. Oh! I need to roll this. Okay. Sometimes I get impatient and then I want to just use a smash attack, which is the noob thing. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Like I just did. Oh, that didn't hit you? No. It was close though, right? It was close, but I still wouldn't have gone for it. It's too risky. Like the middle. Oh, I did it too early. Good, good pullback. Wrong throw. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh. You're just fine, I can't get you? Yeah. There's no way for me to try to chase? You could, but you'd have to try... Many, many times to even find like a kill because Sheik's recovery is just that good. I keep doing the wrong throw. But like the Donkey Kong guy. I killed you! Could get Are you me. trying? You were talking. Yeah. If um, you weren't talking, you would have died. You wouldn't have died today. Uh, maybe. I don't think so. I mean, I just picked it off and then started talking, right? Whoa! <laughs> I thought I would hit you first. That looked really dumb. Okay, ready? Yeah, you picked the option a lot recently, so. The jump from the ledge. I can play now, you taught me. Oh, I fucked it up. Ooh. The big the biggest thing you taught me is not to jump right away when I get hit. Yeah. Because I was just dying. That was, first, that was the first thing I tried to teach you because I was like, whoa. whoa. No, like, I would I would jump right there and just die and uh, Oh, I fucked it up. Good. See, that's good to do there. Ooh. This is so fun. I feel like we're both like, I'm really giving it my all the whole time. Yeah. I can't do that for many games in a row. I can do it for like two, you know? You can do it a lot, huh? Mm-hmm. That's I can actually only do it two times. Like, I can do this maybe one more game. Well, it's also like a... Once you've physically trained yourself, it just comes naturally, right? Holy fuck! Okay. Dude, it's close! Wait, if I keep learning at this speed, I can play you. I'm dead. But, you know, 
I can, I, I can like, Keep going. play you yeah. soon. I, it's just a matter of move choice and then not picking the same options over and over, right? Right, but I thought I was physically limited from being good enough by mechanical skill, but I'm not. No. The mechanical the, skill... The Xena is also pretty basic, so it's not going to challenge you, like, technically too much. Right, so if I just think better... That's why it's the best character to learn on, right? Yeah. yeah. If I use brain, win can happen. Yeah. That's why I learned on it. I need a short break before I use brain again. That was a lot of brain. Okay. I could pick Ganondorf. Don't have to use brain too much. You want to turn brain off? No. I guess you would pick Ganondorf in this case. Yeah, I want to pick Ganondorf, but I don't know how to play him. Yeah. I want to use zero brain right now. Yeah, you need a character with zero brain. Yeah, I need a swap character. Who who's this my should, should be my zero brain character? It needs character. to be like tr a troll character that you can still win on. King K rule? It's a it's a pretty good troll character. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play this guy. All right, and I'll play the plane. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Everyone had suggestions for zero brain characters. This is funny. I think I, I, I read them all. I, I picked a good one for him. Okay, here we go, boys. I know the two moves. <laughs> I'm holding this. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I knew. You, I need running it. <laughs> it looks so funny playing this guy. Hey, I don't remember what is it. Down B. Throw my crown? <laughs> Shoot my gun. <laughs> I saw a meme on Twitter, which is why I knew how to play this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it just has these two buttons on it, and that's it. You, you, <laughs> throw, saw, you saw me in that Throw my crown? Just, yeah, it's actually how people play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm going to go do it. Where's my crown? <laughs> to the floor. Right, I got it for you. <laughs> uh, I need my crown back. He has, like, one of the better uppies in the game. It's a really hard It's game. insane, yeah. Yeah. And it hurts people? Okay, wait. Throw my crown? Shoot my good cannon. Throw my crown. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you don't have a crown. <laughs> I hate when I don't have a crown. That's the worst. Crown. No crown. Oh, it, it just dropped. It, it I noticed this laugh. is a repeating thing in our lives that when there was something really OP in a game, we'd always enjoy laughing about how OP or like how dumb it is. You know, yeah, not yeah. not necessarily OP. Got him, dude. <laughs> what is that move? What is that? It has armor on it. Yeah, but what is that move? Is your for smash A, forward A? Down B, down B. Oh, you can actually hit like move a little bit forward. You see where my face is going? You can punch me. I remember when we used to log. You hear what I'm saying? I'm I'm really distracted. I'm thinking about this thing I said. Like I we were I was laughing at this. Yeah. And we used to do this in WoW where we would go. I would play Frost Death Knight with you, mm -hmm. and we'd laugh about how easy it was to win. We'd I'd jump in in Hungry and Cold, and we'd win on the opener. Yep, ruins. And I could not stop laughing at it, right? Because yeah. I was like, I only know two buttons on this character, but we win. Or uh, what else? DM Hunter. Okay, ready? What were yeah. you saying? You want to show me? Oh, um, stand a little bit closer. Here? A little, little back a little bit. Here? Yeah. Now try to punch me. Punch? Oh, you mean throw up? No. Punch me as I... Oh! In. Try again? Yeah, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Oh, you can go different distances. I was looking yeah, at the yeah. same distance. I'll, I'll hold it the whole time. Okay, what's the max? That? Okay, I'm ready. Wait, wait, wait let me get ready. Okay, go. Fuck! Okay, okay, go. There's input delay. Oh, there's a lot of input delay. Yeah, Fuck. I know. Okay, okay, hold on. I can do it early. I'm getting ready? No, no, go, go, go. Ah. Fuck. Okay, I'm, like, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, after this one, the next one, I'm going to get it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You went to right here. I'm getting it on this one. Everyone shut the fuck up. I got this. Go. Fuck! Okay, I got it right here. I don't have an idea of when it comes out. Wait. Can I... Do I have any visual cue on your end when it comes out? No. No. Okay, I'm... So what am I going off of? Once it's already out, if I release based on that reaction, it's too slow. You know this. Yeah, you have to wait. You have to watch when I start it and then base off. I have to time it. Yeah, yeah. I can't actually try to react because it's too slow. And there's input delay. Okay, so I go here. I'll watch where you start it. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah. You see how I just no, I, I, you know, that's, <laughs> that's how you have to do things in games, though. You have to realize that it's impossible to react to it yeah, and then do it the other to, way. You have to either test yourself or know from someone else telling you that you can react to something or not. Yeah, if you can't react to something... This is something we have to learn in WoW a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's very common in this game. Can I react to that? Oh, no, I can't. I have to predict it. Okay. It was like, um, with kicking Feldom, it was usually uh, not a react. 
Unless you got pushback, yes. Unless you got pushback, yeah. All right, ready? Ready? Wait, throw my crown? Hi, instantly. Throw my crown? Shoot my cannon? Why do I shoot my cannon if you're not even there? <laughs> I just want to do the dumb thing no matter what. Excuse me, sir. Boom. What, what is a safe move for this character? Like, you know, I'm, I keep trying to do this. Obviously, I'm not safe. A safe move. Is this? He's not built to be a safe character. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Wait, maybe this is a good the one. The tilts. The tilts are okay. It's like his forward tilt's pretty good. His nair's pretty good. Maybe back air is good. No. Well, I mean, it's good. It's a good move, but as far as like... Oh, forward air looks better. Forward air is faster, for sure. Look at that shit. Uh -huh. His nair is his better area. This, this, it, like, well, this watch, guy should he, be really he, tired by now. He's this fat. He's just jumping around like this. Use his nair. Huh? Use his nair. Watch. This? Yeah. What is this, dude? It, it has armor. It keeps it. Use it again. Yeah, if you hit me, it keeps hitting you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons you use it. Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh. Uh. See? Uh. All right, I'll just spam that. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I had my plan already, and then I just died. I had my plans already, and then you died. Elgato, no signal. What? Okay, the camera was not charged. Oh! I thought we were charging the camera the whole time, but it wasn't charging at all, even when it was off. Because it was still just trying to transfer files. Even with... Oh, before you mean? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. I get it now. We just need to get rid of that cable. That cable needs to not be there because I used the wrong cable. I see. We need to never do this again. This cable goes over here. Ike. Okay. Alright. Alright, do you guys want to see Falcon, Mars? I think, we, I think we stop and go eat because the camera died again. Or we could do a lyric stream for 10 more minutes. We'll do a lyric stream for 10 more minutes. We'll do a couple games, then we'll go. Oh, Shulk? We'll do Shulk. Okay, so... I'll go Falcon? Okay, Falcon. I'll turn off the... Turn off the, the camera. Corner. Oops. Control-Z. Oh, I could Does have... Does that work? I wonder. Okay, let's see. No. No. Good. Question though. I wonder if there's a key bind to turn this off. Okay, now, if there's a key bind to turn that off, we could key bind it. Then we wouldn't have to change input. That'd be better work that'd be, for that'd be, that'd be smart, yeah. You could leave, I wonder if you could like leave your mouse on it somehow or something. I don't know. All right, last. Best two games, best of three? Two more games, yeah, best of three. Here we go. Which means two more games. <laughs> you, you pick my character next game. We'll okay. Do, we'll do that. I want you to play uh, Little Mac. Okay. I think you'll have uh, an interesting time for a second. You'll beat me? I've never played it. Okay, I don't want you to play Little Mac. Because if you beat me, it'll look really embarrassing. I mean... Just play Sheik, dude. There you go. That's the spirit, actually. Yeah. I should punish here. Oh, you drifted. That's good. Yeah. I drifted. Ooh, I like the down throw. Ooh, we get a we get a grab there, we could up B. Up B's no good? It was okay, yeah. It's fun. Is it better if it just kills you? Alright. Is it better to grab? Um, either one was fine. I like that. Oh, I didn't hit you. That's weird. I moved a little. What? That was a good read. Some people wouldn't appreciate that that was a good read. <laughs> I want to play poker now that I'm thinking about reads. Dude, oh, top. there's like an IRL card house. It's like small stakes. Do you want to just go play like small stakes poker IRL? Is it really? boring to you? Okay. Pretty boring nowadays to me. Yeah. It's pretty fucking slow and boring. I agree. I need you would need for you to enjoy poker. You need to play like five tables at once. I think yeah. you would like it then, though. Tom, can, dude, Tom would be insane. <laughs> Wait, Tom, can I just give you a bankroll and you just grind it? <laughs> 
Hey, Tal, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, my strategy. Okay. Tal would be crazy at poker, dude. Oh, you were so dead for doing that. I'm not dead right now. I, dead. On my screen, I'm still alive. Ooh, I What's up? Oh, I did the wrong attack. It's better to do that. Same Another attack. one, yeah. yeah. I really want to hit this nair, but it's not working out. Oh, well. Woo! I should have air dodged right away. Yeah. yeah. You, and you would have made it back? You. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, wait. Her, I'm, I'm going to win. Her air dodge is actually sick, dude. I actually win this game. You're pissed that I won. On your screen? On my screen, I won, yeah. Watch. I'm going to hit you right now. You're going to run up to me. I'm going to hit you with this. Nice. And I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm not going to hit you with that. I don't like this. I'm going to counter right here. Good. I baited it. <laughs> Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, you jumped. I'm actually winning. I'm actually winning. No! I said you jumped. <laughs> if you up beat instantly, you might have been able to live. It's rough, though. Rough spot. Dude, do Falcon again. That was fun. All right. I wish they saw my IRL reaction when I went, no! <laughs> oh, I forgot. Falcon's up tilt is good, yeah. His forward tilt, yeah. Remember when Tob walked in and you beating your meat to a cam girl midstream? That never happened, boys. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I missed both of those up airs. Hello. No, here, the actual story is, chat told me I should just go beat my meat. So then I went and did that. Midstream. Okay, I, I turned off the cam. And then, this is like early Twitch, you know, when it was, these things were kind of a little more okay. And then, Tob was streaming Mario or something. And then Tob, chat told him to, that I needed help and to walk into my room. I actually, I was like, okay. So, the the, the, the combo didn't too. work out that well. Those are some funny times, dude. Cause I, I was, it, it was a good idea for chat to tell me to go jerk off because I was distracted. And back then, sometimes I'd get horny when I, I still had a working penis. So it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. You can hold down and go through the platform there. Oh, shit! That was cool. Oh, you're cool as fuck. <laughs> you're so cool. It, lo it looks like such a... The move, the animation of the move... He just, he just, just looks so funny, like, ah, eh, you get out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, no, you're, you're dead, dude. Oh, uh, what? Why can't I grab you? Because that move is too good at, like, frame data wise. This is what I was talking about earlier. Some smash attacks are, are just unpunishable or hard to punish. That was and stupid. I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, wait, I should have grabbed you there. I was right on top of you, right? So, is it, I, I does it have invincibility? I did, I did this. Uh -huh. I had time to do that, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, right. Oh, you have enough... Yeah, you can instantly spot dodge after that move, because the frame data. I yeah, get it. Okay, ready? Saying. Yep. Ooh. That was a good smash. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Wait. Oh, this one's not close, because you got that kill when I chased you. Oh! I had a jump, I thought. We do another one. We do one more, for sure. I just won the bad beat in poker today at the Playground Casino for 25k. Straight flush royal versus quad tens. That's cool. So you remember that? I told you the story, Tal. At casinos, if somebody loses with, if you lose with an insane hand where it's just a bad beat, no matter what oh, you were right, going, right, yeah. no matter what you were going all in because you had quads. You're right. And you actually lose, they give you a jackpot just because it's a funny thing. Yeah. It's, it's okay. like a nice thing to for a situation that's bullshit, right? Wait, so what happened to this guy? This guy won it. He was the one with the quads, and he they paid him 25,000. Yeah. I've seen it happen to people on the table. Oh, wow. I would think it's how, one out of 2.7 million? Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it insane? Dude, that person who delivered it was really stinky. You didn't sniff him? I just sniffed, I actually caught a whiff of him delivering it. It was so stinky. That was insane. Oh, we're going to sushi. It's a really good sushi place. I know you don't like sushi, but. Chances? Chances you go just for the fun? Zero? 10%? Yeah. 
Okay, let's go, Tom. Okay. As soon as I hit you once, it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he swung? Okay. What? Okay, hold on. I hate you. I should have tried to hit you before I died. Oh, that fucking move. I was gonna, I thought I was about to punish you. Oh, I remember Banjo Kazooie, that little guy who just came out. That was nostalgic for me. Just now. I hate you. I don't like you. I like you. I don't like you. I'm okay. I'm not. I'm still okay. You're mm -hmm. dead. You're dead. Oh, you're not dead. You grabbed the ledge. That was good. Uh, I thought you. I could hit you there. We could try. It's good that I tried, right? Yeah. That was a bait to try to make you grab. It happened to work. Fuck. Oh, you almost got that was fucked. good. You almost got fucked. I yeah, yeah, but I, I'm still happy I went for it. You're good. Woo! Should I tr press the button, attack button a few times, or at zero can I not do that? When I grab, can I go tick, 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 tick? So, I would do one at zero. At 50, I would do like two. At 100, I would do three. Okay. Every fifty percent, you do an extra attack. Yeah, that's what. That's and how I, do you do that attack? Do you just press the throw button over? I, I, or you press, I press A. A personally. A is better. Yeah. This feels easier. I might be wrong for for, uh, for that for this game, but in melee, that's how it was. And I does Rekful know how to attack? I don't. You do, but you. Don't I know what it is, but it's not my muscle memory to press shield when my character. My muscle memory is to spam A. Yeah. But I um, wish you could press A to attack. You have like, to. You have to pick one basically. I want. Is what's happening. Oh, but I could press A. You press A if you if you're floating enough, and then if it's, if you're actually gonna hit the ground fast. I think fast. I want the GameCube controller. I think I want it instead of this one. Okay, hit me so I tech. Uh, hit me with something that I have to tech. I did it. I, I actually tried to press shield. Do it again. I did it that time. <laughs> this is good practice. I, I don't, I've never done this. Cool. So what it is is for super noobs like me, you press shield. I don't know if I would say I'm a super noob anymore. But I'm super noob to not even know what, how to tech, I guess. You press shield as you hit the floor, and your character doesn't... Uh, doesn't just pop on the ground. Sit on the ground, yeah. He does that, yeah. Cheat. There. Oh, I can do it. The thing is, my finger's never there on the shield button. I need my finger to be there when you're actually playing. I'm going to be spamming A. Is this hit ever? Oh, wait, wait. I could spam A and be on the shield button. Um, what oh, I'm sometimes spamming jump? Um, no, I'm still on the shield button. Okay. My, my finger should just you know rest. The problem if you're spamming A is if you accidentally lock yourself out of teching and you're spamming A, you're going to get a tech by accident. And then they're going to fuck you. Oh, if I'm, I can't spam A and press shield. It, it, it like queues up. You're saying it buffers it'll, it'll the move. start queuing shit, and you don't you don't necessarily want that. So I would just get used to. Wait, wait, throw me then. I want to see. I'm gonna spam it a couple times. Oh, but that time I just got out of it. Okay. I'm just saying in certain situations, if you're trying to spam A and you don't hit the tech, jump you'll, up. You'll just get the tech. So jump off. Let's start. Falling up air doesn't really connect the knee in this game. Oh, they're talking about this thing. Ready? It oh it it does it it definitely does at certain percents. The up, up air knee. Ready? It's not rising up here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're just answering that guy? Yeah. Who was it? Uh, dimes are a lot. He's answering you. I have friends who play Falcon literally every day versus me, so. Rage? Uh, no, Endo. Ooh, I what? hit you. <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited for hitting you one time. It's not that impressive. <laughs> Ooh! It does feel good to hit Talb. <laughs> Abuse? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Feed down.
Uh, I think, uh, I don't know if Tal will be in town, but Zero said he's gonna come play Smash in like a month. Okay. I wanted Talib and Zero to be in town at the same time, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work out. We'll see. Oh, Even I Tech. I had that. I want Talib to meet and Zero to meet. I think they get along. I think so too. Maybe we should wait for it. I should tell him not to come. Because if I feel like if he comes, he won't come again anytime soon. I saved you. I ran into you to try to get that. I don't know. But you weren't you actually dead before I? I was out? dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like trying to drift into your ass. I didn't save you on purpose. Oh, okay. okay. I yeah. saved me on my screen. Yeah. The movement is a lot better. It's hard to just. I'm trying to do a specific thing. And I, just I like, used to just approach every time and try to hit the person, and then I realized you just press shield. <laughs> if I do that, so. Yeah. You got so much better in the last time I watched you play Smash. Yeah, I did. Because Ta Talib is a good teacher. Oh, Zero's on Facebook. Oh, maybe we won't be allowed to stream when he comes over. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll find out. All right. Beating the Sheik would be is a good test, though. One sec. One sec, one sec. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yeah. This is so fucking fun, dude. It feels like a real game now. Before I used to, if I play up against shitty people, I just try to spam this button. Yeah, yeah. And it's not actually a video game. Well, it's a video game, but it's not a. What is it not? It's not like reactive thing. I fucked that up. Though. Oh, I thought you had to tech, but you got to slide off. I think I can hit you. No. I shouldn't do that. It's really hard to hit Sheik when she's crouching. That's why I crouch a lot. It's cool that the crouch actually does something. I never even use that. Let me turn the camera on for the end of the stream. Yeah. Go for it. I'll, I'll pee and then I'll turn it on. Here, uh, you turn it on in there and I'll turn it on physically. Teamwork. Oh, you just hit the one button. <laughs> I'm doing a lot here. Okay, I'm gonna pee, boys. And then it's the last, last game or two, and we're gonna go pee. Is it working? I should. Yep. Go full screen and talk to them for a bit. Press CBS guy. I, I was gonna go pee too, honestly. Sure, yeah. We'll team pee, then we'll play a game or two. You're back. Yep. All right. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right. 
feed. Hey, have you guys that are here, you guys who are here, have you really enjoyed this stream like more than most streams? Is it like a special stream to you or is it just kind of whatever? I, I'm curious. I know like you don't it's care. A, they well, might not care about Super Smash Bros. You know what I mean? Someone said no. The, the, the problem with this question is, is it was a leading question. So a lot of people are going to answer yes or like speak up. But we need to see the other side. Too. Uh, no, I, there's more problems. There's a skewed sample size. The people who are still here didn't close yeah, the stream. Yeah, but uh, that's a big better, problem. Yeah, it's still better than to ask like, speak up if you felt like this stream was more boring than usual. Right. I like how you said. Someone said they enjoyed the design talk. I just don't like Smash. Sorry. Got, yeah, I get it. Four years subscriber. Thanks, Daniel Zan. Thanks, Mutant Fish. Any All stream? right, we change it back and then we're good. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, somehow didn't do that part. I want to mention something. Where's the remote? Over there. What did I want to mention? Smash P food. I don't know. Design normal streams. Oh, uh, I bet Hyrule will put the design talk on YouTube just by itself. Uh, and that'll, that'll be good content. Did he, he already put the other thing up? You said. That's what Chad said. I don't even. I don't. For some reason, I hate opening YouTube. The whole site mm. I get bad vibes from it I just never look at YouTube but I, I it like is, it is a trap yeah I it's, like when there's my, my it, stuff's on there though yeah they make it to be like very uh, they make it to be a trap yeah it's true yeah this looks cool this background ready addictive I guess is the word yeah okay three two I'm just gonna let you one go you're gonna let me recover yeah okay go oh I don't have a jump that was good. I guess now, now I see that why that's standard. Why? The the parry. It makes sense. You know where I'm coming in. It's a slow attack. Yeah. And there's not much. It's pretty safe to do. There's not much else you can actually. I'm surprised do. how quickly I I'm, I learned this game. Oh, what the fuck? Can a, anyone can learn this game this fast? Oh, you hit me. First. If they have Tabadar to teach them. I I'm actually like. I mean, Tabadar is really good, and I'm, I can play the game now. There you go. We're tied up. He's dead. I, I mean, he taught me, and I can play. I'm not going to win, but... You're in trouble. Careful. That's really cool. Moral of the story, you just need a Tabadar in your life. Oh, I want to do my combo. But... I think everyone needs a Tabadar. Whoa, imagine. Okay, we need to sell si like uh, Android Tabadars. <laughs> you just have a virtual friend. It's a Talvador. <laughs> no, I'd be careful of one thing. You're, you're doing the same jump from the ledge every time. And even though I'm not punishing it yet, yeah, yeah, it'll be I will. Too very similar soon. of a... I'll just do a roll-up now. Yeah, you're like jumping backwards and kind of swing. Yeah, yeah, just mix yeah. it up. I have to focus on the game now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I was already thinking about 20 years in the future when we release top, the, the your pocket Talvador. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't try to attack there. I know you're going to shield it. So what can I do? That's a great question. That's what I want you to ask. What do you think? I can try to throw, but it takes too long. Maybe I just wait. Maybe I, I don't attack. I go down. I drift down for 10 minute attack and then just wait and then try to screw you. You could grab. You could, you could I said I could grab, but it takes too long. No, 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 it doesn't take long. It's thing. If you, if you like. I'm in the air. If you fast fall, look. If I, if oh, I don't down, ever fast, fast fall. fall right, and, right. and then just immediately grab. Okay. Let's, okay. It's, it's called. Uh, so I, I know you're going to shield when I go like this. Okay. Oh, I can fall through the platform. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, you fall through yeah, the you're, platform. You're here. You're here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just play. I'll, I'll just do it. I mean, I'll, I'll even do it to you mid-game. Mid sure, you, sure. You, you won't get hit, or you won't see it coming. You know? It's almost tied. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I wanted to it's tied! Wait, I can beat this cheek for the first time ever. Hold on, everyone shut up. Oh, he's... I killed myself. I choke every time when I say... Every time I choke, dude! I need to not think. I just... <laughs> Everyone be quiet. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it closes at 10? Yeah, we have to go. Hey, that was the last one. Chad, I hope you really enjoyed the stream. We might do another one. He, he's leaving in a few days, but he'll visit again. And now we have it set up. I love you guys. I really had a good time. Yeah, this was fun. I feel amazing. The beginning of the day, I felt bad because I hadn't taken my medicine yet. You can see the difference. But now I feel good. Um, Love you all. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Oh, we're at the... Since input. Go through the motions.
So I need to do that. Where is it? It's over there. It's fucking remote. We keep losing it. It should never be over there. All right. We should have all the universal remotes on our phone. Bye, everybody. Love you. I'll type in chat. Heart. Motherfuckers. Love you guys. See ya. Especially you guys. You guys here are like long, at, long time fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. You gotta grab this. I'll go full screen to say bye. Press this button. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed some key button to undo this. I wonder what it was. Bye. <laughs> okay, we can make it to the sushi place just barely, I think. See you guys. Bye.